do it. What up, what up, what up, Mike Check? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? What up, man? 24-7 all day, every day. What it do? What's up, Sarad? AKA Modest Media. Do I still sound good? Nope. Sound sleep? It's a little. Check. 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 Yo, 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 yo. Mm mm. What the fuck is up, YouTubes? Yes, we're good. Let's go, yes, man. Yes, we're good. Modest is speech, but it's seasoned as actions. Uh, what? That's, the, my, that's from my, my verse. This is verse, yeah. Modest is speech, but it's seasoned as actions. Determined to that in the base and make you issue retraction. Come on, hear that shit. Social interactions. Come on, hear that shit. <laughs> I'm about to go in on these niggas, big. You know what I'm saying? He's on his Conway to Mississippi. <laughs> when you gonna do another verse, man? I know, man. I need to get back in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get back in the booth, man. I need to holler at people on the beats, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Miss, I need to get back in the booth. Oh, shit. Get, you ready, man? Get this, <laughs> get this Nas and uh, hit boy going. Oh, <laughs> shit. Y'all trying to make some magic, man? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, what's up, y'all, man? Welcome to another Dead in Hip Hop Live, man. Oh, sorry for the the late uh, entrance. Uh, we are out of production, guys, so we had to do some like last minute checks. We right on time. Um, but <laughs> he said we right on time. Mm -hmm. We we kind of are based on like where we be at or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, you know, I tune into another Dead in Hip Hop Live here on Wednesday uh, at. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are, we do these now bi-weekly. So if you've been wondering, like, yo, where's the weekly um, uh, video, man? Now, we do these bi-weekly, and, and if you follow the channel, if you subscribe to this channel, you see a video that drops on Wednesday instead of a live. Did you have something, Mike? Oh, it looked like he was about to say something. I'm sorry. Like you, Cause you did like this, like, mm, and another thing. I was fucking, <laughs> and another thing. Right, right. Um, because we are running late, man, we are giving you guys a little bit more time to send in Super Chats. Uh, as B said, I see y'all already sending them in, so thank you for that. 9.15. <laughs> Stupid as hell. Uh, we give y'all, how, how long we give them now? 20, 25 minutes? 20 minutes. So 25. 28. 9.30. 9.28. 30. So we start at 9.08. Give them yeah. till 9.30. Yeah, 9.30. Nice 30. even number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have until like 9.30 to get your Super Chats in. So at 9.30. Uh, you won't be able to send those in, but you can send in super things, super super stickers. I don't know why I always get that tons of super right stickers, there. super oh, stickers nice. and super thanks. So yeah, make sure you send those in. Thank you so much. Uh, helps uh, keep this channel going. Uh, Five dollars or more. <laughs> no, we're not doing it no more, B. Damn, we not. <laughs> no, man, <laughs> we're doing it bi-weekly now, so it's all good. Every, everything's welcome. If we don't get to it, but well, we will probably turn into a short. Or uh, or a video or something oh. like that. So yeah, mm -hmm. we've been doing that lately. Um, but tonight, man, we're talking about you know great albums, good albums that you know kind of had some whack aesthetics, like bad album covers. I would even say bad titles, but I think we go on basically with the bad album covers. Um, if y'all can give us some with bad you know titles as well, we can we can do that. But um, most part, most for the most part, we're gonna focus on the album covers themselves. Uh, so it should be interesting. Uh, I think that's it. Anything else y'all want to bring up before we get to, nope. to the show? Yeah, our Friday. Our Friday, go ahead. What's you up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you come this Friday in two days, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are doing the Double XL freshman cover list, all right? So what that means is I, I'm represented 2011, BZ has 2013. All of those artists, the music that we can select cannot go past that year of the cover. So everything I pick has to be before at 2011 or before 2011. So I know people are gonna say, well, why didn't you play this Kendrick song or that Kendrick song, motherfucker? Because it came past 2011, all right? Same thing with BZ's artist. Go a year if you want to. Like you can go at like so 11, mm -hmm. 12, 11, 12. Yeah, like so 11, you can do 13, whatever, 14? whatever. What, like that was big in that moment, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't see, know. You see how he trying I'm to do? I'm just asking. You see how he trying so to? So you want to keep it on that year? Yeah, keep okay. it on that year. Can't Bet. go past that year. Bet. Okay. So like pre, so like I can go 2009, 2010, 2011, and nothing past that, okay. and you can't go past 13. That's mm. that's that's fine. So that's how we gonna do it. Yeah. So make sure you guys yeah. come through. Can't go past 13. <laughs> that's like how uh, Drake, Drake like his women. Uh, <laughs> what is no, it? Uh, our Friday, 
Our oh, Friday yeah. ATL no, no, forward no, no. slash twitch.tv. No, no, no. It's twitch.tv forward slash. God damn. Our Friday ATL. I <laughs> had damn. it backwards. Hey, next week, I promise I'll have it right. God damn. At least I got no, all the won't. words and letters right now. All right, cool. All right, man. So we're going to get into the show, man. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's all I really feel mm-hmm. in the beginning. Um, uh, BZ430, do you, are you ready for the hip hop minute, sir? Hmm? Oh hold on, I was I was replying to somebody. In the chat. <laughs> yeah, no, I was playing, I was replying to somebody. In the Interactive chat. Yeah, yeah, Um yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, real quick, for the hip hop minute, mm-hmm. um, Metro Boomin and Jid is is they announced that they're doing a joint project mm. together. Oh wow, uh, interesting. No specific date on when it's dropping, but you know they confirmed on social media that they are both working on. What's up, Mike? Why are you hitting? Why are you tapping your leg like that? Oh, why are I'm y'all be so worried about what I be doing with my body? Doing all it's my body. I have body autonomies. That's what you got. Bodies. You got. You got multiple bodies. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Damn. Oh, man. Touch my legs if I want to, B. <laughs> okay. All right. I got you. Um, <laughs> um, upcoming albums: Trippy Red, uh, Love Letter to You Five is dropping August fourth. Ooh, can't wait. Quavo, Rocket mm. Power dropping August fourth. Benny the Butcher. Everybody can't go August 11th, which mm. is going to be production from Hit Boy and Alchemist. Oh, what? I think it's just, yeah. I, it, it's like I think Jesus. Alchemist is executive producing. I think it's produced by Hit Boy. I believe <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be interesting, man. Uh, Hit Boy ain't fucking around, man. man. What's interesting though is that I know that for a fact Benny the Butcher has been in the studio with Metro Boomin. So I wonder if he's gonna <laughs> have any of those in on that project. Mm. Be interesting. Damn. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Um, TD next TD release is coming from Reason with Porches dropping August hmm. 11th. Uh, no name Sundial supposed to be dropping August 11th. Can't wait for that. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Joel Ortiz and La Orange is dropping Signature on August 11th. I think that's on, on Mellow Music Group. Mick Jenkins. I'm looking forward to this album. Mick Jenkins hmm. dropping The Patience on um, August 18th. Jordan Lucas is dropping uh, Not Now. I'm busy August 18th. West Side Gun and Then You Pray for Me August 23rd. ASAP Rocky has a don't be dumb, but it's no uh, official date yet. And then a Drake. Did you listen to a single? No. Ooh, it's new. Yeah. Like new good. as in how new? Like just came out like a week or two ago. Mm-hmm. No, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Why you didn't share any dead end thread, right? Man, you know Cause he don't he don't text nobody or read his text. Oh, punk man, ass. Hit us up or nothing. Oh, man. punk ass. Um, oh, and then, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll that's share it. that's the uh, hip hop minute. There's one addition, B. Oh, well, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes. The, and I think I mi- briefly mentioned it on Is the Mike Sloan, but yeah, like like this trend of like fans throwing stuff at artists because you had oh, a yeah, fan. Was, yeah, yeah a big. fan threw something at, uh, I think, Lotto, and she was threatening them while she was saying her song, like, throw it again, bitch. Mm. Throw it again. <laughs> throw it again. Like, and um, Cardi B, mm. of course, y'all saw the, the, Cardi B was mm-hmm. ready to karaoke his her whole song. <laughs> I was like, why is she <laughs> like the whole literally the whole song was playing. Yep. But and everything. I saw a full video because I think the clip I saw before was just you saw the water splash and the girl was like, I'm sorry. And she threw the mic. But before I can see why people was getting a little ignorant, but they shouldn't have still mm-hmm. threw no water on her. But she was Cardi was saying, because she was in Vegas, you know, it's hot in Vegas. Mm-hmm. But she was like, Man, it's hot as hell this bitch. Somebody throw some water on my ass. Like, you know. Mm. And then you saw a couple people splash some water on her, and then that was it. So then I guess the other girl was just late to the party and she threw her shit while she was about to perform and Kai was like, but she bah. threw like a drink though. Like it oh, was yeah, like, like it was open a lot. Yeah, it was, yeah, but, yeah. It, but I'm saying it was like an open, open cup, cup drink. Yeah. Mm, it yeah. didn't look like water. So I could see why she would be mad. I didn't yeah. know that in her mouth and yeah. her aim was on a hundred. It was, yeah. wasn't it? That shit went bleep. boink. You heard, you heard it too, like boink. That was like, <laughs> and then the damn. rotation of the mic was perfect too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's crazy. And then I think Sonny had mentioned to me about someone called BB or Bebe. Yeah, Bebe. Oh yeah, I don't, yeah. He mentioned her. I didn't know who the hell she was, but um, she got popped she got up. hit with something. She got popped upside the head with something. What was it? Damn! Yeah. Someone threw a cell phone at her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you meant that shit. Oh wow. Oh, that's the girl that had to get stitches. Yeah, the white chick. Yeah. Oh hell. Oh, oh so yeah, I saw, I saw that video. Yeah, they, that it hit her hard. She went down to the ground and was like mm. holding her eye and like ran yeah. off. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, like I'm saying, I don't know what's been going on with. You know, I think we mentioned this before. Like, I think I told y'all that like, that's like a thing that was really popular at punk shows. I've been to plenty of punk shows mm-hmm. and see the singer get hit with shit. I was at a show at the Earl uh, and the singer was singing and someone threw a full beer bottle and cracked him square in the head, busted his head open. But the thing is, 
in that arena, they're kind of used to it, so it's not like a big deal. Yeah. So when he got busted in the head, he just kept, he just kept, kept singing. I saw I saw another video. On, I think it was either on Twitter, or Instagram, where it was it was a country. I think she was a country singer or something. She was singing and someone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's how she was doing. That's how she was doing. She was singing ding 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 ding. She got hit and like. I feel so bad for her. It's a she, hell no. No, she just ended up like walking off. You could tell she was like, you know, I guess hurt or, or mm. embarrassed or whatever. She like walked off crying or whatever. But I was yeah. like, damn, that's hey, fucked they up. They need to try that in a small town. Bet try that won't. in a small town, huh? I bet they won't. What's going to happen to they them? They're going to put their dick, dick in the put dirt. Dick in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell put them. your fucking dick in the dirt, dude. <laughs> tell throw them. something at me. I'm going to throw these fucking 10 fingers at you, uh, dude. Tell them. I bet you won't you got dog 10 them. fingers? I got 10 of them, dude. Damn. Count them for me. Got <laughs> one, <laughs> two. <laughs> so. But that's my hip hop minute. That's the hip hop minute. Arm Hammer dropped a new song today. Oh, they did? They got an album coming out and a tour. Damn. Yes. I'm coming out. Yes. Yeah, that ASAP Rocky song Lowest. came out eight days ago. It's called Riot. Slipping on your pimping, okay. B. Mm. Hey, son, you're supposed it. to put that in notes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. All right, man, that's your hip hop thing. Thank you for that, B. Yeah, um, yeah, appreciate um, it. So, yeah, man, we're going to move into this uh, this conversation, man. What I'll do is uh, I'll kind of go through some albums that uh, that was provided on a couple different sites, and then y'all let me know if y'all agree with these or you know, yeah. even remember. Yeah, because. And, and then y'all can give me the ones that y'all have. Because it's funny, because it's like. Mm-hmm. I think when I when I saw this, I mm-hmm. was, I think when albums are good, I typically, even though I look at album covers, but when the mm-hmm. album is good, I, I don't care what the album cover mm-hmm. like if the album mm-hmm. is good. But when the album's like bad or like I don't know, I feel like the bad albums, the the album covers stick out more to me than mm-hmm. the okay. good albums. If that makes sense, I, I don't know. You. I'm kind of weird like that. I got you. I got yeah. you. What about even when we was purchasing music? Like that in uh, like dictate. So we starting this now? I mean, so, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 um, yeah, 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 I mean. Yeah. Anything, yeah. no limit. I mean, obviously, yeah, the clearly, niggas was no yeah. limit. Way over the top. No limit. Talking about was good album. Like I mean, yeah, covers, yeah, right? good yeah, albums, but, good the, album but the, yeah, good. No, I'm talking about good albums, but the album bad. covers. Oh, they were bad. Yeah, a lot of them were. What? Right. Yeah, they so, bad, bad. some come of them shits was come hard, on. but a lot of them was bad, bro. Come on, oh. let's be honest. Oh. Ice cream, oh. man. Oh. Ice cream, man. Come on, that album. Oh, you talking about the early stuff? Yes. When they started doing the super yeah. pose, right? Like, no, like that, that, that. the TRU album no cover limit. was bad. Yeah. No, no, that, yeah, but I'm talking about, you know, when they really got a, a, a designer in there, a for real designer, like those album covers were fine. Which was like, like which one? Like, like, remember the Snoop Dogg one where he's That's with horrible. the two dogs? The dog father. Like that. That's yeah, horrible. that's just cool. Right. It's, it's about paid. He said, "Yeah, to pay the cost to be the boss or something." Pay the like cost. Yeah, yeah, that ice cream man cover fire, B. That shit with the gold daisies on it and shit. Come on, ghetto dope. Ghetto dope was was was. Ghetto Dope was, Ghetto Ghetto Dope was, was bad? Ghetto yeah. Dope was bad. It was I, bad. I, think, I think they lost their designer by that point. The Maybe Last Dime, bruh. Even some of the Sook the Shocker album covers was bad, too, bruh. I don't know, Like, man. a lot of, like, don't get me I'm not saying the albums were bad, but mm-hmm. the album covers, bruh, come but on. But they stood out, though. That's like what made them stood out, because they were so they were so bad as mm-hmm. Jesus looking. They were bad. Bad. I didn't think they were bad. No, I didn't okay, know it must be a Southern thing, then. Cause it must be. It that must be. When I, I used to look at this shit, I'd be like, oh my God. Like, this shit looks fucking horrible. I did not think they were bad. Yeah, bro, bro, them shits was like. The Mia X album covers. 100%. Bad, bro, bro it, it was like ghetto luxurious. Right. And that was dope. No, but that, it, was, it was ghetto as fuck. It it's was definitely ghetto probably, it's probably a Southern thing. It probably. was different. It man. probably was. Yeah, man. definitely bad. Oh, <laughs> the album covers bad. bad. Look, I I'm not. That, look, what? now y'all know I love the No Limit shit, but it's just the I album covers was fucking horrible. Like I did not think people thought that, bro. I don't either. We used to laugh at that shit. Now looking like, back, Yo, the album it, it looks cheesy as hell. But like, I mean, people wasn't doing that shit. Like that photo, the way they was photoshopping that stuff. Because that shit was. Bad. It wasn't bad, <laughs> B. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, that man, shit was I so bad, bro. That. I didn't yes. either. Nah, I, 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 I did not know you were going to come here Soldier and say Slim's this. Slim shit was bad. Like, I, well, maybe his. Fucking, uh, Cain and Abel. Um, I did not a lot of them, bro. That. A lot of them. That 96 through 98, them covers were bad, bro. Man, but no, I man. did not know that was. I thought I this whole time I thought. Okay, people, I, I thought one. that was common knowledge that those covers were bad. But they stood out. They like that, that's not the question. If I'm standing out, they stood out because mm-hmm. they were so. bad. They were so bad. See, yeah, I didn't think that. I think I didn't think that. It's, it has to be a southern thing. Man. It has to be. The, yeah, bro, I, everyone. We says used to they laugh at that shit. But yeah. I think they knew they weren't good. They knew yeah. those covers weren't good. And that's why they kept doing it. Ooh, I give you a good one. I which don't know, one? Which I don't one? Which one you give? A, a good album, but the album cover was bad. Which one? Four hundred degrees. Damn. I give you that. Yeah, I give you. Four hundred degrees was an amazing album. Amazing album. Album cover, not so much. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I, I'll give you another one since we're in the South. Which uh, one? And I grew up on this one. I, one? I still play it Y'all every now like and again. Y'all don't like the 400 Degrees album cover? www.thug.com. Trick Daddy what? shit. 
That was gonna be I, my I, number I didn't, one. I didn't care so. for Trick Daddy shit, but yes, I agree with you. That that, that album cover. Yeah, that, that was that yeah, was that was horrible. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was a bad wall. <laughs> it probably is on people's wall. Yeah, in jail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, being like growing up in Florida at that time, was mm-hmm. y'all on that joint in Pensacola? Hell yeah, you talking about the yeah, yeah, Trick Daddy? Doc, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. But the, uh, even then, I thought the cover was whack. Yeah, I even thought Trina's cover was kind of whack too. Yeah, the one when she's over Buddy with the yeah, the baddest bitch. Yeah, I even thought that was kind of whack. That shit didn't make no sense. Yeah. Yeah, so um, but no, I man, I was gonna kind of kind of go through some first, and then yeah, we go start going yeah, through. Uh, <laughs> um, that was on it. That 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 mm-hmm. trick that he was on it. Yeah, that's a that's you a really surprised. Thing. Well, they had one of those the, the Snoop Dogg one that you were talking oh about. Oh my had god, that one on yes, that was with the Rock Walls and stuff. Yes, um, terrible. I didn't think that, but when I saw it on the list, that was I didn't that think that it was, was that ninety six through ninety eight run where it was horrible. That's crazy. Uh, the first one on my list is uh, the alcohol is liquidation. Did y'all y'all remember that? Yeah, shit? yes, that yeah, album was dope. Floating over like a Yo. waterfall yeah. or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, al- that album was good though. Yeah, was that good. album was good, good as fuck. But it matched the music. They were kind of yeah. goofy and silly. Yeah. Plus that yeah. was like what 90, 96, 96, 97. 96, 97. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, apparently it's kind of unfair to put that on. <laughs> it's like I don't I mean, know. But it's bad. It's bad. It's, it's really bad. bad. Uh, another one that was on on his list was Nah Stillmatic. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, I don't like, understand that. That, like, that like, cover's not that bad to me. It's I, I didn't mean, think it was, but I don't know. Looking back at it, it is kind of Yeah, because if you look at his first four albums before yeah. that, it was like a it was a theme, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, when he came out with Still Mad, I was just kinda like He's just standing this? on a wall. What's yeah, that? I didn't What's know so people thought that was it? a bad cover. Yeah, I didn't think so either, but yeah, apparently yeah. people think that's a bad cover too. And they, they, they think I mean, the cover was a bad. I mean, I guess, I that, guess so. A, again, <laughs> like this, this is one of those things where like I probably didn't notice it until now, but okay. like back then I wasn't it like. It looked fine. Yeah, back then I yeah. was kind of like. Because well. the, mu- the music was good, so I, I didn't care. Yeah. I got you. I got that you. That cover didn't age well. Okay. He's, okay, it's just him that. standing. I don't understand what's so bad about it. It's like a it's little very pigeon. Photoshopped. It's like a, yeah, it's like a pigeon right here. So what? I don't know. It's it, just it looks like a typical rap looks, cover. I don't. I don't think it looks bad. Either. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. But I will agree with y'all on this one. That T R U, true to the game. Bruh. Yeah, that, that's Steve horrible. Mads I don't know. That Never heard that of that. Bruh. Bruh. And I love that album. That 96 through 98. Bruh, that 96 through 98. Yes. Yeah. That was a 97. This is a really good album, that was a 97. Mm-hmm. This is a really I'm good. I'm telling album. you, bruh. Let me look at 98 through, I mean, 96 through 98. That shit was bad. I don't really think bad. that that's it's that bad. bad. It's, it's bad. bad. It's bad. Yeah. It's it, bad. It looks like cheap. Look, look, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's cheesy. It looks like skeletons underneath the mask. That, well, that's what they are, right? I don't think it's supposed to be. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be skeletons. Yeah, they're like some demons. Oh, uh, bro. Man, there's some No Limit Soldiers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah. that, that's a bad album, though. That's a bad album. Yeah, that's super bad. Great album, though. It's yes. a really good album. Love bro. that fucking album. It's a really good album. Um, I didn't know this one was considered bad. So, Ludacris, uh, Chicken and Beer. They said yeah, that this one. They said that this one is, is, yeah, is bad. I, don't know I didn't if think that was that. bad. Yeah, because it, it's bad it. about it. It fits ludicrous. Yeah, it yeah, fits it, ludicrous. That's what and, I thought. And you yeah. listen to the album Me like too. it fits the album too. Like, is this a fucking pitchfork list? It's it's not. It's not. I'm, I got another list too. But, who who, who I, made this one? This is Medium. I don't know who who that is. So well, Medium. I think it's just anyone can submit something to Medium, oh, right? Okay, I don't know. I'm pretty sure somebody just randomly wrote that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, Medium oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody that's exactly can, what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, some of these, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I, like, I don't, I don't think even chicken know. and beer is bad. I think that's fine. Nah, yeah, yeah, it's that's, a pretty standard ludicrous, yeah, kind of silly, goofy. Yeah. 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 Another one on here was uh, Cameron's Confessions of Fire. Do y'all remember what that one looked yes, like? Yes, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember Confessions <laughs> of Fire. <laughs> okay, yeah. That looked like a porno. I have never seen that before. That looks like a porn title, and this is like. What's it called? Confessions of Fire. That looks like a porn, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah That's that, a bad album. That cover. was bad album cover. Wow. Yeah. Dick set. That and the album bad. was pretty good. Ah! Um, and, the, and the last one on this particular <laughs> the last one on this particular list is one he already brought up, but I don't know if you saw it, but it was Trick Daddy's cover. Yes. Oh, I've seen that. Seen that this? is horrible. It's yeah, classic. That's real, yeah, it's it really classic, bad. It, it is classic. Classic. It is, bad. It is a bad one. I that's wish we had one. a production team, um, a full Damn. production team, so y'all can kind of see the covers for the ones that don't know them. You had to look, go back and look at him. So sorry for sorry about that. We didn't realize we was gonna be down a man. Sorry, um, Paul. Oh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. I I picked you up, bro. You could have called a brother. <laughs> you could have called a brother. Could have you know called a brother. Um, so I'm gonna move on to another list. Y'all got here. one minute for your super chat. Damn. Oh yeah, thanks, B. I know I'm usually really good at that. Damn. Oh, Nine thirty. <laughs> ah, close. <laughs> no man, you got you got a minute. 60 seconds, One, 60 two, seconds to three, four, get those five, in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm sorry. Seven, eight, nine. Beasley trying to get y'all to hit up out of here. Thirty. <clears throat> um, 
One on the list was uh, Devin the Dude. I don't know if y'all remember yes. Devin yes. the Dude. Yes, good yeah, album. Yeah, I used to like Devin uh, the Dude. Yeah, bro. good I album. He taking yeah. shit, but yeah. on the toilet. See, I don't know, man. I feel like these are like young people that are making these lists because it's like yeah. I don't think that's that bad. It's just it's Devin the Dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, it, it fits that fits, his fits style. him. Yes, one hundred percent. Nah. No, I got you. Um, this is another one they put on here, man. Hell to the Skelter, uh, Hell to Skelter, Dirt. Oh, yeah, I remember that yeah one. when they had the red, yep, yes. the red cape. Oh man, yeah, that was that was that that's was bad. bad. That was bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's so pretty, like yeah, a, yeah, like that's a bad pretty, Halloween. Bad. It's bad. Movie. <laughs> 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 it is bad. I don't know. Yeah, I think, you know, yeah. some of these are just bad. Just, uh, so when you said the title, I'm like, oh, that's the one with the red cape. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. man. I, they put this on the list, but I didn't think it was bad. It's Luke's solo uh, solo album on the one with the. I've chicks never thought Luke albums were bad. Yeah, I don't know. Why I they, never thought Luke albums were bad. bad. He was on this. He's he, he's sitting too. That's a good one. That's what I'm saying. It fits, it fits it fits young him. people. It fits him. Yeah. It fits, it fits him. Luke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I always love it. Luke album covers. Man, I remember this. I'm and, and I'm I wasn't a big fan of him, but people were. But Little Flip, y'all remember his album cover? That shit was horrible. The Lucky Charm shit. The Lucky Charm shit. All love. That's I've never seen this before. Yeah, that's one of the. That's yeah, what that, Texas that was, was popping, man. What is this? This is a cereal box. Yeah, yes, he was, he was like Lucky Charms. Man. Super chats are closed, people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's closed. How come I never seen this? This is yeah, crazy. Yeah, that yeah. One's horrible. That's, that's horrible. wild. I've yeah, that's seen. trash. Yeah, yeah I've All never seen that before. Oh, yeah. No, I've never seen yeah, I've that never either. Seen that like, that looks like yeah. I've seen that before. I don't know what the music sounds like. But I've seen T.I. was beefing. Mm -hmm. I remember that. You can't beef with nobody with you a with Lucky yeah, Charms think, cover. Yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure T.I. used it. that. Oh, yeah, he used it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's throwing fucking hearts and, what is it, hearts and stars? and Yeah. He yeah. had to put down the summer jams. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember. I'm, not sure, I'm sorry, Mac Dre. Y'all remember Mac Dre's uh, album cover? That's a dude from Kansas, right? Bruh, yeah, I yeah. do not remember oh, that. Ronald Dragon. Ronald Dragon. <laughs> no. They got this oh, on the wow. Yeah. Cause I know people no. love this dude. Yeah, bro. That's I do love terrible. Mac Dre. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't know if y'all miss one guy. I never really. I mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. I never gotcha. got. I don't think he's bad, but he's not my thing. Gotcha. Yeah, I never got Mac the Mac Dre yeah. hype. All right, man. Let's see what else was on this particular one. Um. They said this one was bad, but the, I guess this is in, in line with what y'all were saying about the No Limit stuff, but this was the Lil mm. Wayne, The Block Is Hot. Yeah. Y'all thought that it, was bad? I think mm. it, I, it didn't age well. I okay. think it was dope at the time, but looking back now, yeah, I don't know. Again, that Cash Money, No Limit type yeah. bread. That New Orleans yeah, was bad. pretty bad. It was mm. bad. See, I, at the time, I didn't think it was. But see, that's why I don't really think this is all the way fair. It's like mm -hmm. you're judging, you're judging yeah, that's people. True. When that album come out 20-something years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was early. Yeah. You know, 99. And it's like... Yeah. Motherfuckers didn't have Photoshop at the ready back then. You're doing mm -hmm. shit on MS Paint. Right, exactly. So I But think, this was like Photoshop, I think, but that but this is early yeah, Photoshop, yeah, which right. wasn't that great. It like really, I think yeah. that that like if you're looking at a bad album cover, look at like the original Big Pun album mm -hmm. cover. Yeah. Like that's bad because the idea is terrible. Got you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where he's behind the fucking Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not because the, the graphics were bad or Photoshop was bad. It's a right. stupid cover. Mm -hmm. But right. those that's just typical rapper shit. I don't know right. if this list has it, but um and I don't know if you're gonna get to it, but mystical unpredictable. Yeah, it's on there. Okay, yeah. Help yeah. the bell. Yeah. 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 Let me see that's the one that had the puzzles through. and shit yes. around, right? Like, yes. Yeah, this is the one he's talking about. The mystical um, unpredictable. Like that was Again, first, no I don't think that's that bad. Yeah. No, it's not. A, I no, think I think everybody's judging the shit from today's standards. Yeah, today's standards, most rap album it, covers back then were that bad. That didn't look as bad as the other No Limit stuff that had came out around mm -hmm. that time. Because it wasn't as flashy. Maybe that's what it is. Mm -hmm. but, but it didn't bother me. Like At the I time, knew, it did it. But it, again, yeah. I, I, I feel like a lot of these joints just didn't age well. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not aging well because motherfuckers didn't have all these fancy programs back then. Right. And then so, like of course, I, it's going to be bad. And like I said, if, if you like the album, you more likely you didn't care really what the album cover looked like as long as the music was good. I think this conversation is very classist. Okay, guys? <laughs> you have these poor, young African-American gentlemen yes. that are trying to make these albums, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you expect them to make these fancy, elaborate, nice covers. Give them a shot, guys. I know you don't care because you don't even want motherfuckers in the schools. You stupid. What album covers you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some bad ones. Okay. I got some bad ones. Well, hey, well, lay them on then since you're talking all that shit. Oh, man. See, if you want to talk about a, Nas, a bad Nas cover, talk about Godson. That album's bad, or that cover's bad. I didn't think it was Why bad. Why is that cover It's bad? just him naked, <laughs> like, no, standing by the beach Fold like this. Arms. That's better than Stillmatic. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Yes, it is. No. We're I will take the Stillmatic cover over Godson cover any day of the well, week. We talking about naked. What about that little, that little, <laughs> that little C's word? Oh, that's tight. That's yeah, that, Leo. Yeah. That's, that's tight. Really oh, yeah, with the hands covering him up. Oh, yeah, I forgot man, about that. I forgot about that one. You hating, man. That shit's tight.
Did y'all listen to this album? Nope. Yeah, nope. I, I probably oh, okay. listened to it a couple of times. I think I have already, yeah. All right, what else you got, Mike? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Red Man docks the name. <laughs> that cover's real bad. <laughs> With him like a little cartoon. It's music. a little cartoon. Oh, like, no, Jump no. Up. like It didn't even really match the music. Because it's an amazing, amazing. album. How about, and Mike, another example of I didn't, I didn't, even back then, I didn't, mm-hmm. you know, I looked at it. It's like, okay, Red Man being goofy, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Look at, yeah, you're right. You look looking at, at it now, now it's, it's like, like, oh, yeah, it's pretty it's stupid. It's like, yeah, damn. My thing is, if I'm looking at a cover from that was made back then and I'm going to label it bad, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label the theme or mm-hmm. the idea. Okay. That cover, the idea itself was bad. It's like, why? Are you making this little cartoon Mario thing jumping around? Like, yeah, why, off the brick, dude? Off, off the brick. Yeah, nah, yeah. I think that album deserved deserved better. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me see. This one is not really fair, but I felt like actually no, I got two more. Then I'm gonna stop. Mm-hmm. This one, main source is Breaking Adams. I've never liked that cover. Mm-hmm. It definitely looks like it was done in MS Paint, but again, which, even the theme is. Which one again? I'm sorry. Oh, it's it's got them on the cover, and then it's like that fucking galaxy of little balls flying out of it. <laughs> and it just looks it just yeah, looks bad. Yeah, again, incredible yeah. album, but it's just a bad idea yeah. from the beginning. But probably my number one for incredible album, but awful cover, Rakim's 18th Letter. Oh, it's like yeah, a purple yeah, background. Yeah. He just man, yeah. and it was his comeback album. Yeah, and yeah. it's a great yeah. album. But that cover, the cover again, is... the idea is just bad. You're Rock Him. You don't need to do some weird like. Because I kind of remember getting that city like. I remember getting like, damn, why are you do, why are you looking like this? Dude? I thought he I thought he went R and B when you see yeah. that cover. I was like, oh, he's gonna do an R and B album. Yeah. Okay, like, let's see what, what this let's like. see what that sounds like. Didn't it take a minute for people for the album to catch on? Uh, that, I, that so. I don't know. I don't. I think that so. I don't know. Is that the one he dropped on after? No, no he never dropped. What? One. He never dropped one on. Never dropped one. I thought he had that one messed up. That was one. That was an album he dropped. The master. You talking about after that one? Which one was the done? master? No, I think it's 18th letter. Hold 18th letter on. was his comeback was album. 18th that's letter was he the got one. the Pete Rock and Primo joints. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it took a minute for people to catch on to it and and appreciate him. I like don't it. know that that's true because yeah, I, I I would feel like Rakim taking a break from the game and coming back, and there I don't think there was anything on there that was like questionable. Yeah, it sounded like Rakim. Hmm, okay. So I don't. I, you could be right. I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't either. That was your last one. Maybe it's the master. Well, uh, for the it's for the, the for the super underground heads, like Pep Love's Ascension is a bad cover. Mm. Absolutely stellar <laughs> album, but that cover really looks like a a terrible R&B album cover and it's depressing. But the album phenomenal. Mm. That's the last one I got. I saw somebody put Cherry Bomb in here. I didn't like that either. I don't Cherry remember the Bomb. Cherry Bomb cover. It was like uh, it was two different ones, wasn't it? It was one where he showed like somebody peeing on themselves, and then it was what? Yeah, oh. it's like you just see like holding a cigarette, and it's just like you just see a wet spot. That <laughs> sounds tight. What? And then the other one is like he looked like a cartoon character or some shit like that or whatever. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Tyler Crater. Yeah, yeah. I never seen the pissing one. I think B downloaded the wrong thing. <laughs> <I'm serious. laughs> it is one. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Well, what happened? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look, look at your text. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, man. Uh, so anybody else got any I know, super I know. stand I'm with you. out one? I'm with the you. The only thing I'll say. <laughs> what you going to say? And this one's for Mike. Oh, Jesus. The Wale Ambition cover. Oh, <laughs> shit. You right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you was clowning on the he review. Was, I remember it. You was, was clowning that shit on the review. He was like, <laughs> ambition. <laughs> and you get the little shit. I remember that shit, too. That we shit was, does we look was like right a by varsity. <laughs> We was right by varsity. He was like, ambition. Yeah. <laughs> if I remember correctly, that's the video that I almost threw up in because I was still hung over. But that album Bruh. cover is fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. man. I terrible. terrible. That. But this was great albums with bad covers. Album I great? know, but it was just... The, it was. I, since we were on the top. I, can, I just can't remember. Did y'all like that album? No. Oh, you I did not like it. I know I, I didn't like it, but I can't uh, remember if y'all liked it. I don't think so. I think I was, I don't, I don't think, think, I can't remember. I don't uh, think I disliked it. Okay. I don't think but I can't Wally's remember, got bro. favorable review from us. I don't Ooh. Think so. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, we went crazy about it. What you had? Somebody said Cannabis. 
the mm. what was it? Was it see, True Hollywood? Story? Was that the one with the with the weird silver cover with like the big <laughs> silver C on it? I think oh, that was the one. Oh, that cover I think that was, was the bad. One. Again, bad idea, bad execution. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're tripping. At, God loves ugly is not awful. You're bugging. Somebody fucking Uh-oh. somebody kick this guy out the chat. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. Uh-oh. laughs> oh man. Anybody else got any other standout ones that you want to bring up? I can't think of anything else. Hell, yeah, like I said, them, them, them no limit in cash money early years was definitely the ones that stood out to me a, a lot. I just never looked at album covers for rap groups as being like make or break mm-hmm. like that. I do think there are a lot of albums that had cool covers, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I don't know, man. I think rap albums just didn't really have those suck you in kind of covers. Mm-hmm. You had to kind of just know what it was, you know. Mm-hmm. No, I got you. Yeah. At least that, that, could that, I remember. that could trick you. Yeah. Like, even if the cover is good and then you listen to the album and it's horrible. Do you have any that you can think of? Top? If you don't, then let's just move nah, on. Nah, I'm nah, just curious. No, no, that's my head. Yeah, That'll yeah. be a different conversation. Yeah, we definitely need to get into these super chats because y'all have shown up and shown out. We yeah. appreciate it. Try to tell uh, you. Yeah, I guess, you know, bi weekly yeah. is why we get get them like this. So, yeah, man, appreciate y'all. Um, Remember so that Nowhere to Turn album cover? <laughs> Yeah. Shit was fire. Yeah, that shit was fire, bro. <laughs> that shit was hard, son. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They ain't topping that. Right, Nothing's right. topping that. Talking um, about fucking no <laughs> limit. There was no limit to that motherfucking style. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Designer coming, nigga. <laughs> Designer coming, nigga. <laughs> Sorry, went too far. Sorry. I'm done. All right, man. All right, man. This part of the show, man. Thank y'all for sending in your super chats. Like I said, we got a lot to get through, man. So, um, so yeah, we definitely going to. Start that now, Kid of Vien. Are you ready, man? Are you ready to get to these super chats? Yes. Um, any topics, shorts, please feel free to highlight them as we go through these. Yep. Uh, so let's get started. Let's go. Uh, we will start with Josh B. How do y'all feel about Earl Sweatshirt's music evolution? Are you satisfied with where his music went, or do you feel like you wish? He took his music in a different direction. Mm. Mm. At first, I wish he would have took it in a different direction to how he kind of started off. But I think the more and more I like that, like, like kind of off kilter type stuff, I'm appreciating it a lot more. Um, I actually mm-hmm. want to kind of go back and listen to some of the ones like, uh, I think it was like, uh, was it Feast of Clay? I want to say Feet of Clay. Feet of Clay. Like I, th- I don't think I liked that initially, but now, now that I kind of like that style, I want to go back and see how I like it. So no, I, I kind of like where he went, man. I kind of like where he went. I don't think it it it, mm. it, it helped his career as far as popularity, but I do I do respect it. I don't like where he went. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I might be the only one mm. up here that don't like where he went. I feel like, you know, him and Tyler was like almost competing, and then he just kind of went way this way. And I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I don't, I don't like the super slow, you know, the, the, the lazy type beat. I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm, I fuck, I fuck, I fuck with it. I think, yeah, that's the only album I think I didn't care mm-hmm. for was Feet of Clay, but other than everything else he's released mm-hmm. and been on, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I, li- I like his L. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I think that if you look at pretty much right after Earl came out, his, his evolution completely yeah. makes sense. I think his evolution makes more sense than Tyler's, and that's not saying one evolution is bad versus the other. Mm, right, I right. just think that when I, lo- when I looked at where Tyler started mm-hmm. and where he is now, I would have never guessed. Yep. But with Earl, it completely makes yep. sense. I actually would have thought Tyler would have gone in the same kind of weirdo direction, but mm-hmm. Tyler went in a different weirdo direction, which makes that whole dynamic between the two of them very, very it interesting. Does. It, does. it really does. But remember early on, Tyler said that he wanted to win a Grammy. And I remember when he made that statement, I was like, you're not going to win doing fucking Yonkers. Like, that's not going to win a Grammy. So Damn. when he said that, the evolution didn't surprise me because it was like he said that's what he wanted to do. So Damn. That's cool. All right. <coughs> Long live Kevin Samuels. Uh, who has the Best producer tag in the game. I'm going with Harry Frog. Metro. Yep. If Me- young Metro, Metro got like a don't couple trust you. I'm yeah. gonna kill you. Yeah. yeah. Me- Me- Metro. Yep. Metro has a couple of them yeah. that are hard. Hell yeah. He sure do. Mm-hmm. He sure do. I can't even think of anybody else's. What's Harry? Frog's? I do like Me- Metro's. Uh, uh, music produced by Harry Frog. Yeah, it, it, like it's Me- dope. I like Metro's better. Yeah. Because Me- Metro got like a solid two or three of yeah. them. That's just yeah hard. Yeah. Metro. Um. Yeah. I don't like conductor. <laughs> 
I do like yeah, conductor. Yeah. Conductor. Yeah. conductor. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I like, do like yeah. his. Conductor. No, we I actually got a like problem. his a lot. Yeah. We have a yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah. No, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah that's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's Hit Boy? Hit Boy had a. Yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. yeah. It sounds dope though. <clears throat> Hit Boy. Yeah. I guess I don't really pay attention like that. Anyway. All right. What else? Montana of 300's Pray for the Devil, a classic, but album cover a little disturbing, though. Mm. No idea what that oh, is. Yeah. Somebody look it up real quick. 300's Pray for the Devil. Pray for the devil. Mm, yeah, somebody look that up. Uh, uh, T, uh, procrastinator. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man, y'all are nasty. So this is A and B. Disturbing? He said it was a word. Next. I don't know why it's disturbing. Uh, Did y'all see it? No. Let is he see. eating a heart? What the fuck is Let me see this shit, bye. Eating a heart. Let me Sound see, bye. Sound like right, right up my motherfucking alley. Uh, drink more water. Great albums with bad covers. The alcohol is coast to coast. Mm-hmm. Arsonist as the world burns. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, that, that with the space or whatever and them around <laughs> the earth. Oh, that's real bad. Yeah. Uh, death groups. Uh, no love. <laughs> Deep well. Man, that's just a dick, man. What you scared of dicks, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Drink more water. I'm scared of the dick, no? Uh, uh Murs, good music. Doctor Doom, first come, first serve. Oh, and Tyler, him, Cherry bro. Bomb. D- didn't we do good music? I don't Murs. remember good music at all. No, which one was good music? I just remember we did Murs. We did a Murs project, but it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. It was that one. No, I don't remember good. I might have missed that pro- that album. But first come, first served is not a bad album cover. Y'all are crazy. All right. Uh, the Sensei, Death Grips, No Love Deep, good album, weird cover. Why are y'all so scared of penis? Penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Samir, I flip flop on how I feel on the cover of Aram by Arm and Hammer. I do prefer the alternate alternate covers for it. I haven't seen the alternate, I covers, the alternate covers, but I don't it. really love that That's album cover good. either. It's just it's just hard to look uh, at. Yeah, okay it's just that. it's yeah. Oh, Murray's good music. I was trying to show it to you, my bad. You probably can see it from here. I wanna see it closer oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh Night yeah, Owl. That's bad. Uh, what? That's bad. Huh. Not bad. I it's love bad. the twenty sixth letter, but West Side Money Talk suck. I don't know what any of these what? Oh, that's on the uh Mock Homie. Uh twenty sixth letter. But the West Side Money Talks. Oh, West. So, money okay. Talks so, so. I got it. Uh, what, what is, what is let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Day yeah. Delinguisher. That's a new name. Um, Welcome. When ranking rappers all time, I feel it's a big difference between the best and the greatest. For example, Nas better overall than Jay, but Jay legacy is greater. I agree with his statement. I, I, I've had that argument with people where they'll, you know, if, if they say, oh, who's your, what's your favorite album? And I say, it, it's like, oh, that's not better than this. And it's like, well, I didn't say that. Mm-hmm. I think that my favorite Doom project is probably not his best. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different discussion. 100%. I was just having this conversation with my wife because it's, it's been a little while since we listened to Nipsey. And I was telling her, I'm like, my favorite Nipsey project is Crenshaw. Right. But his best is by far Victory Lap. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I do, there is a difference between best and greatest. Yeah, you might have a personal connection yep. to one, but you can still identify like, oh no, this, this project is, yep. is a better project. Yep. I just like this one more. 100%. I don't think that's a crazy statement. It's not. It's now, not. Jay, you know, and even his Jay and Nas comparison, it makes sense. Yeah. Maybe not to y'all, but I get what he's saying. No, it does. I get what he's saying. I, I, I get what he's saying. But that's what I was saying in the Nas review. I think he's, with that, with, with the trajectory he's on now, he's turning yeah. to a great, like he could, you know what I mean? Like for real. He's had a, he has a better story at this point because mm-hmm. he's really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. musically. Yeah. Uh, a few months ago, I asked the Beanie Siegel should use AI to recreate his voice. He said in a recent interview that he's doing that for a new project. Wow. 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 I gotta hear it. Why would he do that? What's wrong with his voice? Is his voice gone? It, yeah, yeah. It, it's you way it on the, off. On the, on the, um, it was a push. He was on a Push T album. One he was time. on Push T, and he mm. was on uh, Conway's one. He gets oh, he's on a right wreck or there. something, right? Never mind. I think yeah, I forgot yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, he, yeah he, I wasn't trying to be yeah. funny. I, I think I just forgot. Nah, yeah, his vocal cords are. Damn yeah. I forgot he got in a car accident or something. Yeah, right? he can't like project like he once yeah. did. Like, you can tell like mm. it, it's hard for him. Like he's strained. Mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Do what he wants. It's, you know. Yeah, That's interesting, I, though. It's dangerous. It, it is dangerous. It is interesting because we're in a time now we could literally take. Yeah. 
Yeah, he didn't, he didn't pick it up. But I, go ahead. Go ahead. That you could take technology and just kind of do something like that. And play with something safe. <laughs> From an interview. I uh, okay. Y'all favorite I BET Cypher. The one we were talking about we earlier. We were just talking about it. Yep. The Black Thought. Black Yossi Thought Bay and Eminem. Eminem. Yep. Bruh. Remix. Bruh. Rise Bruh. the fire like a phoenix. Bro, yes. oh my God! I still, man. I still like the TD, like when Kendrick yep. was like pointing at, yep. yeah, that shit. When he was going out Drake, mm-hmm. pretty much. Ooh, yeah, my yeah. God, what he yes. said um, when you yes. took a sensitive rapper right, in his right, pajamas, right. pajamas, yeah. pajamas. Oh my God, that one was good. That but was. Bruh. I'm sorry, Yasin yeah. Bay, y'all have Black to watch Thought, that again. and Eminem was I, fucking look, I'm, stupid. Y'all, that's yes. y'all pick. I'm just telling mm-hmm. y'all what my you pick. What's your pick? I'm on Rod's side. Used to buy me likes a dump, but now what do you say? I'm now a little bit calmer. I'm like a mix between a. Obama. What did he say, yeah, B? Yeah, I'm was. a fucking mystery. Osama, I'm a Dama and the Dalai Lama. Mama. Tell Damn. Molly I'm a shiny armor. Yeah, something like that. I can't yeah. remember what it was now. I they was both like, were good. They're, they're both very good ciphers. Damn. Mm-mm. 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 Rock roll a bipolar uh, like Phyllis Hyman. You don't know about that. <laughs> what are your fa- What are your hip hop related pet peeves? Mm. Hip hop related pet peeves. It was, it was, it was artists huh? going over their vocals, performing over their vocals. You said we should do a short. Oh. Mm. Damn. We can answer it now. I already said so, my pet peeve. Yeah. So, so B said rapping over your vocals. I said it in um in a, in an in a upcoming uh, reaction that we're just gonna do. We reacted to "I'm Not a Human Being" part two. So that's gonna come out soon. But um in that I was saying like I don't like when rappers make similes and only use like. It's like bro, bro like. Supposed to be a wordsmith to a degree. Like you can't always just use like. You just said like twice trying to make it. I point. did <laughs> because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows mine. Mine is when they put fucking sex skits. I hate that mm. shit. It's fucking stupid. It's funny because <clears throat> I think I hate it now too. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Sure. Yeah, like like I didn't think that before. But you can't mm. bump that in the whip. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> Yeah, I used to think it was funny, but I don't uh, think it's funny anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is cringe. Yeah, it is cringy now. Uh, P.S. Eight diagrams is underrated, better than Iron Flag. What artist is? That's a Wu. Oh, that's a Wu Tang. The Wu Tang albums. Um, yeah. I would say Iron Flag is. Is what? What? Oh, he's just saying two. He's just. Saying oh, he's he's just saying eight saying diagrams that. is better than Iron Flag. No, I think, no, I think Iron Flag was better. I haven't listened to either one in so long, I couldn't say. J-Boy. J-Boy. Hey, y'all. I had a great hip-hop weekend here in Toronto. Aww. On Friday, I saw Big Boy and Cube. Mm-mm. Saturday, Jess Blaze and Feral Mach. On Monday, oh, Bust and 50 doing his oh, whole yeah, Get Rich that, album. Yeah. Which two out of three would y'all have gone to? I would have definitely gone to Just Blaze and Farrah Munch, Munch because yeah. Farrah Munch's live shows are insane. Yes, they are. Uh, I think I would have had to go with Busta and 50 because uh, I don't think I can support Cube right now, guys. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, I'm going with the Get, Get Richard Bad Trying as well. Same picture yep. as Mike. Me too, same as Mike. Busta's energy is ridiculous. Well, he said Just Blaze and Farrah first. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought, this, I, was, I thought that was weird. I thought that was the same show. Mm-mm. I was like, that's weird that Just Blaze and Pharaoh Mantra playing on. Mm-hmm. Wait, but how do you know that? It is. Saturday. Saturday. Okay, so that, I did read it correctly. Yeah, it's three okay. shows. Okay, yeah. I did read it right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you would have went Saturday and Monday? I went Saturday and Monday, yeah. yeah me too. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good with the with the, mon- with the Monday show, Busting and 50. What about the other one? You, you, would you have done Friday or Saturday? No, I'm good. I'm good with the bus and 50. Oh, that's it? Yeah, I think that's the only one I probably would have went to, to be quite honest. I've seen Farrell live. He he does put on a really good show. And Just Blaze got crazy yeah. work. Yeah, but it's just beats. Just beats? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it. Damn. I, okay. You know what I mean. I, nah, I, mean, I don't I mean, know what you mean. That's why I'm asking for clarification. He has one of my best produced out my songs. I mean, I, I love Just Blaze, but I don't, I don't want to just see him on the stage playing beats. Mm. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to go to the show to see that. Right. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's my, it's right. my choice. Right. It's my time. <laughs> right. You know what I'm right. I can spend it how I want right. to. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, Saturday, Friday for me. 
Uh, let's see. Oblivion Radio. Ice Spice like cover is bad. It makes it unlistenable because of the cover. Really? Oh, well, <laughs> damn, cover bro. I've never felt that way about hip hop ever. Like a bad a cover look, making it unlistenable. Like it. it is kind of bad. Yeah, me either. Because I don't like, look at the cover like that. Who cares? Yeah. But I'm going to see. Let's see. Ice Spice like. Because if the album review, is good, right? like, like B said, that shit don't fucking matter. Yeah, but I don't really remember it. All right, um, Black Ross. Some felt it was wrong to perform songs That's about right. killings at Gilly Fest, seeing that his son was just murdered. What are your thoughts on this? Man, that's sad. I mean, it fuck is. all that other shit. But damn, bro, losing your son that yeah, way is terrible. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. That is. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to answer this one. What do y'all think? Hmm. I didn't know this had happened. Um... You didn't know he lost his son? Mm-mm. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Man. Mm. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, he left behind a daughter. Um, he was also a rapper himself. I believe it happened in North Philly, um, kind of where Gilly like grew up and mm-hmm. all of that type of stuff. But um, to answer this question. It's it, it, it's kind of messed up, but hip hop has a lot of killing and, you know, other types of topics that are sometimes, you know, difficult to talk about. So I, I, I don't know. Um, th- this is tough. I think that as an artist, you have to kind of play to your audience and we know what just happened. So maybe you shouldn't have performed those type of records, but. I'm not an artist, so you know they felt creatively that that's what they wanted to do. They have the freedom to do so. Yeah, I mean, I think they're coming at it from a respect standpoint, like just yeah. out of respect. Mm-hmm. Should you be doing songs about? You killing? should. I, I don't. But yeah, I don't know. It's hard to answer that. It really. is. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Like especially depending on their uh, their catalog of songs. Mm-hmm. They might be mm-hmm. killing everybody on every record. Mm-hmm. Or having some type of violent. Mm-hmm. Bar yeah. Um, Levi Turner, love King's disease, but man, all three of those covers suck. Still, Maddox cover is awful. Ill Maddox cover is a classic, but Nasir is his best looking cover. Mm. I can't. I can't Nasir say he's is lying. the black and white one, right? With the the kids. Mm. Yeah, that is the that is probably his best cover. Mm-hmm. But yeah, some of those King's disease covers aren't great. Yeah, they are. They're not terrible, but they're, yeah, they're yeah. not great. They're simple. They're very, yeah, three is the one that really popped in my mind that's just not. The bars. Yeah, the gold, it's just three, three bars. Mm-hmm. But that's because Nas don't care, man. He wants you to listen to the music. He ain't worried about yeah. the cover, bro. Right. He ain't worried about the cover. Donald Van, Cool Keith, first come, first served. Uh, Keori, <laughs> I gotta see uh, despite yeah. Midnight Marauders being my favorite A Tribe Called Quest album, my parents thought the person on the cover was dangling their meat. Wow. And now I can't <laughs> unsee it. Oh, my oh God. man. Wait, what? Let me see. Oh, that. man. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, because oh, in the middle. Yeah. Oh. Hands like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that does. Wow. Wait, so what? Wait, what actually is that? Oh, it's just a hand. It's, it's just a hand. Her hand together like this. Wow. It's just like this. That's that does all. look like a peen. <laughs> but it's a woman, though. That's the thing. Right. So that's funny. But his yeah. parents old, probably didn't listen yeah, to hip hop. Yeah, yeah didn't pay no attention. Be like, what are you, what I mean, are you what's doing? What's that? What, what are they on their Johnson like that? Well, yeah, especially from a distance. That's just <laughs> yeah. what it looks like. Is he pissing? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's funny. I uh, never even thought of that right, until now. That's fucking funny. Y'all are y'all are hilarious, yeah. man. Wizward, how come only hip hop rap have underground music and artists, but all other genres are all mainstream and considered good? That's beyond untrue. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> Every genre has underground artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Not a artist, yeah, or yeah. like, yeah, every single genre that I can R&B, think of has every, underground every, artists. Everything, yeah. So I don't know where you got that from, guy. Sorry. Not trying to be a dick, but yeah, that's just not true. You think it's a difference between like underground and, and like just kind of like just unknown artists or whatever? Uh, I think there's a difference. There is, but I mean that that statement is still not correct. I don't know. Do you know underground R and B artists? Like underground, most of them are 
are kind of like in the neo soul type genre that right, but typically it's like you don't soul. hear about. But see, I don't consider that underground, though. I guess it's there's, p- I'm soul. sure there's. But underground yeah, there, there's there's still artists. like some underground artists. Like I, I still think Cleo Soul is pretty underground. Like she hasn't. Burst that's what came to mind for me. Yeah, it's crazy that she hasn't burst into the mm-hmm. mainstream. That's that's wild. Mm. It is. Yeah, it is really wild. I wish I knew more about what he was trying to say there. Lucky Day is another one that's pretty underground. Um, yeah, but people know Lucky Day. He's just been featured on. I like that though. Like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's a known name. Um, I, huh? Mm-hmm. Nah, he said all other genres are all mainstream. They're yeah, because like, good. I don't know. So, Sonny, keep me honest on this one. Do you? Th- I think Bryson Tiller's still underground. Ooh, Cody Chestnut is a good one. Nah, like, like, but he he had well, he like was a, never good. He he had like a push, Sorry. like that first project had a push, and but but I don't think he ever crossed over the main. Yeah, I don't know that Bryson Tiller is a good example. Okay, so do you think Black is underground? No. Oh, man. Six really? Black? Yes. We no. all know who he is. Nah, he's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's not underground, man. He's not underground. Nah. Dang, y'all think so? You think he's mainstream? Lucky Day is mainstream? Yeah. That's crazy. They think that. It's, it's kind of. Yeah, Lil Baby's not searching the underground for artists, man. What? I mean, Six. It's just black. It's, it's black. Just, yeah. So Black is on a lot of mainstream albums that we've reviewed. That's the only reason I know who he is. I feel what you're saying, because, but because, because nah. I feel like Jid is still underground. He's still he's collaborated with a lot of big. Jid is where that w- is the, on that weird space that Rod's talking about, where it's like it's not all the way underground and it's not mainstream. It's like in that weird 100%. middle. And I feel Black is there. Mm. I, I don't think Black has crossed over. I don't know. But would you but, say would you say Freddie Gibbs is in that in that same space as Jid? I think. Uh, I think so. I think keep ITG. Is right. He said there's indie R and B, but nobody uses that term. There's indie what? Indie R and B. Yeah, which but is I mean, the, yeah, sort of the same That's thing. That's a it's semantics just, game. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Because like that Moses Sumney, like I would consider him to be pretty much underground, but he's not like underground where he's playing at a club this size. He's playing mm-hmm. at a bigger spot. Mm-hmm. So there's that weird kind of mm-hmm. you know purgatory like kind of area. Yeah, like you you're know. making a lot of money on touring and stuff like that, sure. but you're not on sure. radio. You're not with right people that have crossed over like that. Right. So cool. Hmm. Hmm. I love Moses Sumney too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Next, next one. Moses Sumney. Okay, sorry. Next one. Yeah, he's a incredible. <laughs> uh, drink more water. I was able to go see Billy Woods live in Chicago this past Friday. Got to meet him and got some vinyl signed. Who are some of your favorite artists you got to meet either at a show or through Dead End? Brother fucking Ali. Probably still my favorite. He's so goddamn nice. Mm. It's unbelievably nice. That's what's up. I met two of my favorite at the time, uh, Big Crit and Logic, like 100%. What, I can't at the time? Uh, I would say Elza recently, Elza. He was was cool as fuck. I didn't get to meet him. Yeah, he was cool as hell. He didn't invite me backstage. (laughs) I was like, can I go? He was like, nope. (laughs) No, he nope. Get out of here. I no, I just saw Dino. I was like, yo, is Elza on the back? He was like, yeah, I'll take you back there. And he said, I'm back there. Left me out there looking stupid. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, Wait, is this somebody else I met? Yes. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, boy. I'm, I was about he, to he say, did. bro. I, well, I don't think I got there yet. No, you oh, didn't. Yeah, yeah, I was late. I'm fucking around. Oh. <laughs> he would do that. That's what I'm he saying. He really that would do that. that. Oh. <laughs> he would do that. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. artist oh. that I met recently um, that I really fuck with heavy is Currency. Currency was real cool. He seems like a nice guy. I wish he, I liked his music. Was, yeah, when we was in mm-hmm. D.C. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of who else. Mm-mm. I want to meet Bun B. Yeah, no, cur- Currency was super dope. Yeah, he was cool. Super dope. Yeah, he was, he was real cool. You know what? The other, only other person, real quick, the only other person that I would say was really cool is, is Alchemist. Alchemist. It's probably, yeah. of course, that's yeah. a given. Yeah. Number one. Like, coolest bro. fucking guy. Mm-hmm. For being a legend in rap. Coolest fucking guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, Alchemist, because I can't think of any. Like, Black Milk was cool as shit, too. When Black we Milk was cool, but Black it's not Milk, like a favorite. I was, was going to say, have you met yeah. any of your favorites yet? I don't think so. I don't think. I, th- I think mm. some of my favorites are too mainstream. You'll meet Mock Homie one day, oh, I bet, if he ever comes to town. Man, I, bet you, I would you know, love to meet Mock Homie. He seems like he'd be out there fucking, yeah. you know. 
Yeah. Right. Remember when we um, interviewed Cricket Eye? Cricket Eye was dope too. He, he was, was cool, favorite. but he, he's not like he's a not favorite. favorite. Yeah, he was cool though. He was nah, cool he was people to meet. Cool. Nah, nah, he was super cool. I mean, everyone we met for the most part has been. Yeah, been no one's really been a cool. dick, which yeah. has been really nice. I'm no one's been an asshole. Oh yeah, <laughs> you met your favorite you rapper right. and slug. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I've met Billy Woods too. I've met him a few times, and he's always yeah. he's always cool. Mm, Elucid yeah. was super cool. Sadistic was super cool. Chesky. I mean, everybody. Yeah, everybody we've met so oh, far yeah. has been yeah. fucking cool as hell, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rod, if Jay Z hired you to shoot three music <laughs> videos for three of his songs, which ones would you pick? That's, that's a, a good, good question. question. That's a good I like question. that. Mine yeah. would be filling it, beach chair, and Ezekiel's wheel. Oh, that's a good question. You might want to do a short on that because you got to think uh, about it. I'm Ooh. not really. Yeah. I, I okay. Think of a but yeah, go ahead. Um, probably some of my favorite, my um, uh, my favorite songs like from Reason No Doubt. I would do Can I Live. I knew like, you was gonna no, say that. I knew you was gonna say that. Like the building blocks, block yeah. the buildings. I can see that yeah. mm. vividly. Um, On to the next. Public public service announcement. That's like one of my favorite ones. Like that could be like just a, just a big. very big. Mm -hmm. Just oh man, I, I definitely can see that. Um, the third one. Hmm. What would be the third one? Huh? Mm -hmm. No, no. I don't know. I would have to think about the album. He has so many so many cuts, man. Um. I'm gonna go lyrical <laughs> exercise. Lyrical yeah. exercise is so vivid, like like doing the like the comparison of like him in the gym or whatever. Mm -hmm. or I think that could be really cool mm -hmm. uh, concept of doing a lyrical exercise. It's a bonus tr bonus, bonus cut off of uh, blueprint. Yeah. Off of blueprint. So yeah, I think those would be the three I would I would I would pick off the top of my head. Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, it's a dope question. Blind Indigo, can you share any behind the scenes stories or funny moments while filming? Oh, we have so many, bro. When, man, still, my number one, probably the funniest shit. You already know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I in wish LA. you were here. When we in were LA. in L.A. Oh, and I mean, Fee, oh and Fee 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 tried to jump up on the stage and he oh, fell. Oh, oh man. Yeah, but I remember he hearing about that. He his whole shit I remember you hearing about that. And that shit was so fucking funny. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. That's some shit that will never stop being funny. <laughs> Look, Ken and Mike are gone, bro. He fell okay. so hard. It was, it was like it was loud. It, it was it, hard. It was loud, dude. It was like a four point eight on the Richter, bro. It was loud, man. I, I didn't really hurt myself. That like you that. did hurt yourself. I did. It. He I got up. He was limping and shit. <laughs> oh, that I, shit I was out my shin. <laughs> It was oh, wow. Everybody came through, man. That shit was on the weather report. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what's another funny shit that happened? It wasn't to me? as funny as that. Yeah, it was. Remember when we was hosting the shit at A3C? Oh, and that Georgia? white chick? Oh, Yo! God. That shit was hilarious. That shit was hilarious. That, Miley Cyrus rushed the stage hilarious. and tried to take FIFO's mic. She did take, she he did had, take he the He had to really. Yeah, like, did she ooh. get it out of your hands? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to like fight her. Right. You couldn't. I, you couldn't. She took you out, bro. Nah, she, I she, had, she had that coke strength. She <laughs> did. She <laughs> did. She, Yo, she did. was on something. She was on something. <laughs> she was on something. Because I could have just jumped her off the stage. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, she like, said you wasn't kind of strong, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, that was the funniest. She said you weren't doing it right. Give me the mic. Man, oh, I was laughing so fucking hard, man. It was cracking. Oh, oh my man. god! We were like, people. "What is going on with everybody? Something happens every time they go up on stage." And she didn't even get up on the stage. She was on the floor no, no, snatching no, his no, mic. No, 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 she got on stage. Did she get on stage? No, she she got I can't on remember. Stage. I was drinking she that. She fucking night. little mama me, dog. Oh, that shit. Bruh, was she got on stage. <laughs> she did, bro. We was like, "What is going on here?" Oh, shit. That shit was hilarious. I wish we had that on camera. Oh, Jesus we probably Christ. do. We probably do. Wait, I'm gonna what? Have to some of that shit. Yeah, Rod, I'm sure we do. If you had that on camera, <laughs> sure you've been holding sure. out this I, whole time. Yeah, I, think, I think he was filming every yeah, time yeah, we went on stage. Whole, so like, yeah. Rod. Every, so every yeah. time with me, you was on, on stage. Camera. He filmed it. When every time mm -hmm. they was on you stage, you have to find this. I yes, have, I, I, we had terabytes of shit. I know, but I didn't think we had that. I couldn't remember. I got so That shit was so. So you have what the fucks up, ATL? Yes, I got. Oh, come on, man. Fuck is up, ATL? The fuck is up, ATL? <laughs> yeah, we got we got to do some Bruh. behind the scenes shit. That was oh funny. man, I, yeah, we, oh I, we got to release some. I got like, another funny, some, some, some classic shit. Another funny one too. It wasn't ha ha funny, but it was like silent. Like what the fuck just happened? Funny. Remember MC Shan? When I asked him some question about like the internet or some shit, oh, and his response, man. his response was like, 
Oh, I can't remember. I'm paraphrasing. Like, oh. Basically, he called me like a dumbass. He did. He did call you. Yeah. Not not literally, but yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, did. Yeah, like paraphrasing. Oh, shit. what did he yeah. say? I don't remember exactly what he said, but that shit was that shit was right. like funny, but not right. haha funny. You know what? Right. I know we're trying. To, I know we're going long, but mm -hmm. real quick, an, uh, another one that mm -hmm. wasn't funny haha, -ha, but mm -hmm. like awkward. I know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Uh, uh, Jazz 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 like bro, all, he was like all oh, rap for free. Bro, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I was like, all right, man. So you like a legendary MC, man? Spit something for it. Or will you spit something? He was like, man, hell no. Nah. You don't ask the president of the of the of the United States to go empty the trash. And I was like, no, but I asked him to be the so president. Awkward. Like, yeah. I would ask you to like do law we stuff. Like, dude, we haven't like, heard from you. We thought you we mm -hmm. like you need to. Yeah, I felt really stupid. I was like, well, you're yeah, a rapper. I wasn't trying yeah. to be an. He took right. like serious offense he to did, it. Did. I was like, and, and he, you know, the way he was. Go watch the, go watch the interview. He was cool. He was cool. He was cool. I cut, I cut like the the uncool shit out. Oh, you left that out? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know he said that. Yeah, 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 I didn't know you left that out. That I felt so lame. I don't think I left it in there. Maybe I felt I did. I so know. lame. Yeah, that I was an awkward. It was still a fun interview though. He was cool. Yeah. Um, that boy is good. Would you guys ever do an Odd Friday with Kendrick? Or do you think it would be too lopsided in his favor? Appreciate y'all. I don't know who Kendrick could go against. Nah, we would have to do Kendrick versus Kendrick. What really? About what about Jay-Z? Nah, I, oh. I think our audience would have Kendrick watch Jay. Eminem? I, no. What? What? Who the hell is going to vote for Eminem over Kendrick? You play Eminem's best songs. You can, you can get I some think, votes. I, I, no, I, I no. think Eminem can compete, but he, he wouldn't outlast Kendrick. I think on, on, he wouldn't on outlast I, him. You talking about for our Friday? Yeah, our Friday. Maybe Kanye. Kanye and Kendrick, because they're both heavily, yeah, it's, it's like they're big, both big heavily favored in, yeah, our, in yeah, our audience. Yeah. I think I think that would be a good Kanye, one. Kanye and Kendrick could work. That would yeah. be way... Yeah. Somebody said yeah. Kendrick and Tupac. Oh, yeah, we talked, the, that that. Yeah, we talked about that. That would be interesting, actually. I just that. think the time, like the... the uh, oh, no, I like that. Y'all should no, do we, that. We, 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 we talked about that. I think somebody recommended that uh, that matchup, and me and B kind of flirted with the idea. That could be fun. Yeah, because because it is two different time frames, mm -hmm. but it's like they have super hard music for their time frames, and it's classic. Maybe I just later like on, we just had Pac, though. Pac, mm -hmm. we've been, Pac been in like two or three times. Yeah, already. I just think yeah. it'd be too much bias. Towards honestly. Kendrick? Yeah. Tor towards you think it'd be towards Pac? Pac. I, I don't think people. I think people yeah. vote Kendrick. It depends on that's, who's. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, Kendrick, 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 like bias oh, okay, towards. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think so. Hmm. Some people say Kendrick versus Cole. Nah, nah. I don't think our audience messes with Cole like that. If this is on a bigger but stage, they do though, because they hate our, no, no, hate our reviews. No, they, they, they don't. Do, they not patrons. They do mess with Cole. You know what the difference is? Is that TDE has harder like street, even though it's not like street like Griselda Street, but they have harder. Because yeah, we did TDE versus Dreamville, Dreamville and, and it that. wasn't. Bro, yeah. it wasn't close. Yeah, it wasn't. Like I said. I know. I, I'm, a, I'm in agreement <laughs> with you. I'm in agreement with you because mm. I, I had to represent Dreamville. Oh, someone said Kendrick mm. versus Lupe. That, that's that, actually that, that, good. That's good. And I'm, that's okay, good. so I mentioned the uh, FIFO. See, that's what we should have done. I mentioned the FIFO to do to Pimper Butterfly versus Tessie on you. you. That's yeah. what I, I had suggested that. I think I should open, mm. up, open up the catalog. Mm. I don't think that would Just be a good one. open up the catalog. Just open up the catalog? Yep, I agree. Yeah, I think that would be good. Lupe and That's Kendrick. a good suggestion. Mm. Tessie on Youth doesn't have hits. Mm-hmm. So, uh uh. I think I, but I, mm, wait. I mean, I think, think the, I think the Kendrick and Lupe could work. I do too. I right. Right. You, you think it should be open up? You yep. think it should open up? Yep. Yeah, I was thinking yep. of albums. That's a good one. JR, On Top of the World is my favorite 8 Ball and MJG album, thanks to oh, Ken and Rod, wow. but that cover is hilariously bad. I don't remember the cover. It's oh. them shooting pool. They got eight balls standing over in the corner. Oh, no. Yeah, it's and, like, it's, and it's from like that weird kind of angle. I don't again, think that's a bad cover. I love that album, so I ain't even, I didn't. It world, didn't stand out for me like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so fun, man. Mm -hmm. man, man yeah, y'all gotta watch that. Be a patron just to go watch that. Uh, man, that uh, three Friday. six versus eight ball MJG. Yeah, eight ball MJG. That shit was crazy. Uh, Kiordi again. Uh, speaking of album covers, if you were to paint an entire wall of yours with the album cover, which one would it be? I'll do Tupac's "Me Against the World." Hmm. Your whole wall. Mm. Hey, Kira, don't forget so about the like brackets, too. Shout out, shout out to you, brother. The album cover, which oh, one would it be? On. Tupac's Me Against the World. I don't, I don't think it was much to that album cover. No, wasn't it just him on the cover with no shirt? Yeah. No, he was like, like Me Against the World. He was like, he was leaning was up. Like a, he was like doing like this. And yeah, he was but like leaned up. That's right, though. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. it being like some. I, I yeah. Mean, that'd be a blank ass wall. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I can't think of. I can't think of one. I'm trying to think one I of mean, my favorite album covers. No, actually, that that that's it. 
Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's no, just that, him. That that be be bad, just, that's it. It's just him. Oh, that's what, I, I, I wasn't thinking of that one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that'd be bad as a whole wall. Yeah, see. It's just, it's just I know it's just him, but yeah. I don't know. It depends on how they. Well, yeah. And Rob said no way cool. to turn. I would <laughs> say no way to turn. Yeah, yeah. that definitely. That would be Fun Crusher Plus. That would be kind of cool with the little aliens mm. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot yeah, that's going on. Cool. Yeah, I think that would be dope. I can't think of any others. Yeah, I can't right now either. Uh, <laughs> Guadalupe said B they gonna say a two live crew album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hell Th- yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the the one was in the bikinis and shit. Yes, when they was the all yeah. yeah, when they were all standing around, mm. man. That should be dope. Yep. Actually the Tessa one youth cover would actually be kinda cool because it's just a, it's like a painting. Yeah, yeah, it's a painting. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be yeah. tight. Yeah. Or the uh, drill music design. Parm. Yeah. Pusha T Daytona story behind it is a bit uncomfortable. Really? I said that in the review and people jumped all over me. I don't, what you mean? I don't even know. I don't remember even... it's the it's the one with Whitney, with, with Whitney where she died, like oh, the yeah, Coke bathroom yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, that so is. that was for real. For yeah, real. That's I, right. but I was told it wasn't actually Whitney's bathroom. That's what I that's what I heard too. So, so then what was it just recreated? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I just yeah. I quit looking. But me yeah. too. Me too. I thought it was Whitney's bathroom. So when we reviewed it, I remember saying that. I mm. thought that was weird. I'm but. like, bro, no way. That's some shit Pusher would do. Though. Kev, is. do y'all listen to Afrobeats music? Yes. And do you think in the future it could over, ever overtake rap in popularity? No. But no. go ahead, FIFO. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna take over it's not gonna overtake rap in terms of moving the culture because Afrobeats and the uh, Afro Latino movement, they're taking from hip hop. Like a lot of their music, at least the ones that I gravitate toward, are very trap inspired. When you watch their music videos, they look like rappers, gold teeth, big chains, dreads, you know, saying long hair, like everything that hip hop does, they're doing. So I don't see them like overtaking rap as the culture movers. I think hip hop is always going to have that place for a very long time, at least through my lifetime. I, I don't see that changing. All right. Uh, Snow Bunny Simp, do y'all feel an album cover could make or break your want to listen to the album? Nah. Nah. Nope. Not with rap. Not with rap. Back in the day when I was purchasing music, yeah, definitely. I I, I think back in the day because we had to literally buy it to hear it. Now you could just search it and just listen, whether it be on YouTube, streaming services, whatever you do. So it's like it's not as important. Where back then I used to make – some decisions on buying an album based off of the album mm-hmm. cover. I would have still but bought it. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have not bought something because the album was ugly. Mm-hmm. I just didn't think about it like that. Yeah, especially if it's an artist that you're a fan of. You ain't yeah. Gonna or if it's an mm-hmm. artist that somebody else that I really like right. said that right. he's dope. I, I would have just you bought it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gregory, who is the best dancer in the crew? Oh, nice. Not me. Mike C Town. The yeah, fuck? No, not me. Not. Yes, he is. <laughs> I, I, I have know, Ken, I nah, have zero Ken, rhythm. Ken, Ken, don't sleep on Ken, bro. I think Who, me. Yeah, I think Ken get down. Ken be done through a hip out. <laughs> I, 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 I used to. I used to dance a little bit. I think Ken. I think Ken get down, bro. Uh, I definitely. Yeah, I'll probably yeah, come, look, in, I come right behind. Ron. Don't hide. Don't hide. <laughs> <laughs> used, to da- used to dance on that basketball court. Be the, be the second one. <laughs> but, yeah. but on the dance floor, I used floor, to dance at the know. goth club. Now I used to tear the goth club up. But you ain't got to have rhythm to go, you know, got you mm. to go dance at a goth club. <laughs> Remember I used to try to teach you how to do the goth dance? Yes. <laughs> but B kept making it too black, so he couldn't do it. He was fucking snapping it. Rhythm. <laughs> yeah, you had too much rhythm. I had rhythm. too much rhythm, bro. I was like, rhythm how you do this shit, work. Mike? I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I'm going to teach you. I was like, oh, shit. That I, mean, was funny. I, got, I got too much rhythm, bro. Uh, uh, Hip Hop Thunder. Mm-hmm. What it do, Dead and Crew? I just recently became a YouTube member and nomination uh, Patreon. Oh, appreciate you. Just wanted to thank donate you. to the Super Chat and show some more respect and love. Oh, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you, Hip Hop Thunder. Appreciate you. It's really dope. That's dope. Appreciate That's dope as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Levi, the new Rocky single, Riot, has a really bland cover, but the song's great. Pharrell produced it. Oh, have wow. y'all heard it? Pharrell produced it. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, FIFA nice. was just talking about it earlier. I think before we started recording, FIFA. Yeah, I think he dropped it in the chat, so I'll listen to it on the way to the grip. I'm going to go check it out. Long live Kevin Samuels. Who is someone in hip hop you will punch in the face right now with no consequences? That's I me. Don't punch Why would I want to do that? Does Michael Rappaport count? <laughs> if he counts, yeah. But you said, other you than that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you I know, you nobody want to punch in the face. I'm just joking. Oh, I wouldn't, I I wouldn't punch him. Who? Who? I don't oh, know. wait. I do know. The black yeah. guy or the white guy? The black guy. You would punch him? 
I mean, really? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I probably wouldn't, but it was annoying. One. If I had to pick one, wow. Mm. Yeah, if I had to pick one, I didn't know he. Really I didn't know he pissed you off that bad. Te- but no, no, text him to me because I have. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, text it to me because I don't but, know. Um, but no, nah, I, I, I don't know. I, pro- I wouldn't. But I'm saying if we had to pick one, that probably would be. Like, I feel you on that. I can't think of anyone in rap that has bothered me <laughs> enough. Me either. Not recently. I I, there hasn't really been anyone. Mm-hmm. But when I was younger, mm-hmm. maybe I, I can't even mm-hmm. think of any mm-hmm. then. Oh yeah, when I was younger, there were plenty of people I wanted to punch. But now, but yeah. I don't think anybody's no. really that problematic like that. Like I would have said, Little Dicky as a joke, but mm. I wouldn't punch him. Mm-mm. He's probably a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't yeah. punch anybody. Yeah. yeah oh, someone, someone said there. Vlad, but I mean, I don't know if I'd punch Vlad. I don't even know what Vlad looked like, bro. He, I do. He's kind of starting to get white dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Oh, someone said Tom McDonald. That's a good one. Who? That's who a good one. That? That's the 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 white rapper who like raps about like how sad it is being white and how like hard it is to be white and that kind oh, of shit. He's yeah. fucking terrible. Really? Okay. Yeah, I he's like long haired yeah. white dude. I had to slap him. He's a terrible he rapper. He and he just raps about bullshit. But there's a couple like MAGA rappers who are actually worse than him now. Mm. But, uh, MAGA there are MAGA rappers. Of course there are. You know how they are. Wow. There's MAGA rappers. One of them had uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene in the video, twerking her little non-butt, That's her little long back. <laughs> <laughs> I know she just got a long ass back, a long back looking ass. <laughs> oh, long back ass. <laughs> oh, no I'm booty, sorry, no booty, ahead. long back ass. No, I'm ass. just trying to think. Uh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have a person. It would have to be somebody that disrespected me personally or That's y'all. what I'm thinking too. And I don't have. Like it had to be somebody like that. There's only one person that kind of disrespected his name, like, yeah. Damn, I didn't know it was which, that bad. Which rappers yeah. dodged the double album curse? Nas. Crit. I would say Biggie. Yeah. Biggie. Oh, Biggie. Biggie. Yeah, Biggie. Yeah, Biggie. Yeah. Um, he had a double album? Lore, Hit the Summertime Most Oh, double album. Yeah, The Summertime Most That was a double album, was it? That was a double album. That was a long time ago. It was. I didn't like uh, both all eyes, on, all, all, all eyes on me. Not the second. Oh, yeah. I, I literally just said Pac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second disc, though, was a. I eh, like it. It wasn't disc. on par. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that was first disc was so uh, fucking perfect. It just was bro. really good. The first disc was Yeah, the really first disc was yeah, perfect, bro. about to go crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we ain't going to even <laughs> listen to this. Uh, tweets open doors. Do you think ASAP Rocky has a legit case and Travis Scott bit his style and ran with it? Or is he just hating because his mu- he's musically irrelevant now? He said that? Yeah, yes, he, said he did. That. Really? Yeah. yeah. Was it recently? Yeah, yeah, it was recently. Like from the style, like not necessarily. I don't like, know if he has a K. I don't know if he has. A, you think so? I think so. Hmm, I, not, I not, not sonically, because I think what Travis does oh, is a little bit different. He's saying style, His like style. Oh, I see that. Style of yeah, dress. Style oh. of dress. Just, just okay. aura. Yes. That that's 100%. that's fair. One hundred percent. That's fair. One hundred percent. Who was out first? Rocky. Rocky. Rocky was out first. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. okay. mm-hmm. people. Yeah. He was the first one to kind of break out that Beast Coast shit. Like, yeah. Rocky was the first one. And and here's the thing. Tony Ayo talked about it on his Dream Champs interview where he said, like, the first time he met Rocky, Rocky was rocking like that man purse thing that everybody's rocking now. But years ago. Well, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Oh, no, no, no. I was just saying I was doing it first. Okay. Yeah. Well, and y'all used to clown me for that shit, too. Yeah, I did. I did. No, I did. You did, I didn't, but I did. <laughs> I, I, was oh. like, I don't know. Mike wearing the super tight with the with the shoes and the, I I ain't know. I ain't know. I uh, was killing the game. Fuck you these was. motherfuckers, bro. No, Mike was always stylish. I was killing these motherfuckers, man. Mike was always had stylish. the pointy shoes on. But that. to finish off what Yayo was saying, um, Rocky was telling Yayo like, bro, like I'm so ahead of these niggas like in fashion and shit. And you know this is the baggy era. And you look at Rocky now. Rocky really pioneered a lot of. The yeah. fashion shit that's happening with these youngins. I, I agree. Wayne. I, Wayne. Yeah, because Wayne was wearing the tight jeans and all. But he that wasn't. Shit he like wasn't Mister Fashion Guy though. Yeah, he was I just, think he was. Sure. No, he wasn't. So, Hell no, he wasn't. He not, wasn't. Not, not like, like Rocky. Uh, uh-uh. Look, look, look. I, I'll give you. Wayne was very influential. Like, like the bape shit, his own Tattoos, trucker shit, the, all that the, shit. The, the, the rock, I'm a rock star mm-hmm. shit definitely came from Wayne. But what these <clears> niggas <throat> is doing now is that's all Rocky. Rocky. Yes, that was all Rocky. <laughs> Wiz, Wizword, uh, is it unfair to rank artists low because of non-positive content? 
What if their style isn't conscious and they like to rap about BS but still talented? That's I think a, it's unfair. Yeah, I think it's unfair. unfair. I mean, yeah, I say I like a little ignorant shit here and there. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. You know, you just got to, like, people used to always say balance, 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 you know. Um, so, yeah. It's so I think it is inf- unfair to run low. That's yeah. why I fuck with 21 Savage, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know people were really kind of doing that. I can see people doing that, especially Absolutely. now. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Especially now. I can now. definitely see that. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Interesting, but yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Yeah. Because I could like a Billy Woods and I could like a 21. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think it's about balance. Uh, FIFO, rank these German car make makers in order. Mm. BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Porsche, Bentley. Mm. Also, and also why. why. Mm. Uh, Porsche's first, BMW second, Mercedes is third, Bentley fourth, Audi fifth. The reason why I'm putting Porsche first, if you go look at race history, <laughs> like Porsche dominates. And mm. you also look at their vehicles now, um, the PDK, right, which is the Porsche dual clutch transmission, is literally the best dual clutch transmission, hands down, in the market. So to me, Porsche's first. Mm, um, I, gotta, I gotta understand that second for BMW. BMW, mm. now, now, now this is a personal thing. All right. Cause. Because I, I currently have a Mercedes and I've had uh, BMWs, multiple BMWs in the past. Multiple, They're, you heard that mic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Um, BMW, the the thing I love about BMW over these other brands is this. BMW gives you the best combination of everything that those other brands give you. They give you the interior, they give you the luxury, but out of all of them, outside of Porsche, have the best performance. So BMWs, in my opinion, you look at their engines, what they're doing right now, um, just the the total package, BMW is, to me, really great. Uh, Mercedes... I think they are more luxurious than anything. Um, and then they're, they're like brutes, like they're, they're V8s. I have currently an ML550, which is a twin turbo V8. And when I tell you that shit rumble and it sound crazy, I love uh, Mercedes V8s. You also look at some other uh, manufacturers like uh, McLaren, um, Koenigsegg, and Pagani. They use Mercedes V8s and V12s. So Mercedes engines are amazing. Uh, Bentley, obviously uber luxurious. The reason why I put Audi last is they try to compete with all these other brands, but they don't do anything great. Like they're just good. The best thing about Audi is their interior technology. So like their UI and stuff like that is the best, but outside of that performance and stuff eh. and the headlights, they definitely innovated the headlight game. So I'll give them that, but Hey man, bumping the whip. Y'all thought that shit was fake, huh? <laughs> I'm, 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 a, I'm a car no, guy. No, bumping the whip. First and foremost. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Alan Martinez. Hey, guys, when was the last time you all heard Nowhere to Turn? I love it. What do your friends and family think about the song? Have you seen your lyrics on Genius? Everybody has question marks in their verse except Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Because you, you, you put your verse out there so they were able to, I guess, properly – properly uh quote oh yeah. oh 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 mine ain't that hard they can write that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> i know right, right. <laughs> speaking exactly. faster here. i really didn't think people would would not understand mine i when i saw what i was seeing it they had them wrong some of my lyrics wrong i was like uh i, I, I have like, never I looked didn't. wow i didn't yeah, know that my, shit was on genius bro yeah, my shit is super simple like i didn't mm. fucking tongue twist nobody i don't think i played it for anybody me really? either oh really Y'all nah <laughs> no <laughs> well i only played it for my wife yeah, I mean, I put my girlfriend. Yeah, I haven't even done that. Really? No. <laughs> I'm sure. She, I'm sure she's <laughs> heard it. I know. I doubt yeah. it. Oh, really? Okay, it is. That's wild. I don't think so. Yeah. Why would? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, cause yeah. I, I don't. Man. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I played it. Yeah, yeah. I played it. I played it for for several people. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Damn. I guess it's just me then. No, it ain't <laughs> just you. I didn't play it for anyone. <laughs> no, I know that. I mean, dang. I haven't listened to it since we played it here. <laughs> Damn. Really? No. For what? I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. I played it a couple of times. Yeah, like my, I did. my I wife, did. like when I played it the first time. Well, this was like the the second or third time for my wife. But we, when I played it in the car, she wanted. She's like, rewind that, rewind that. So her her reaction was, I was a lot better than she thought I would have been. She mm-hmm. really liked Rod's verse. She thought uh, Ken was hilarious. She felt Mike, what Mike did was 
was too pretentious. Line. I know. Was in line with what Mike did, and then she liked Damn. what BZ did. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the fuck? Mike said some words. Know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right. Uh, arterial. 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 One gotta go. Three sit songs. Mm. Stay fly. Pop on my collar. Who run it? Sipping on some scissor. Mm. Pop on my collar. What? Mm-hmm. Sipping on some scissor. Yeah, I'm, pop on, I'm, I'm with Ken. Pop on my collar. Sipping on some scissor. Stay, stay fly. Sipping on scissor. Sipping on some scissor. But staying. Yeah, who run it is mm-hmm. can't go. So me, it's between stay fly and pop on my collar. Y'all said stay fly is dope. They got everybody on fucking man on that bitch. Bro. Damn. That's Dan. Yeah, you Dang. open with that shit, right? Yep. That's the one you open with. Yep. Damn. Yep. I'm with Ken, popping my collar. Not saying it's bad. Because mm. it's right. good. But yeah, out of, out of those, yeah, popping my collar. Yeah, bitch, since I can't remember. remember. I've, I've been popping my, my collar. collar. Popping, popping my yeah, that collar. That shit was dope. I'm, I'm going to keep popping my collar. I'm going to say stay fly can go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, Wolf. <laughs> hey, guys. Glad I got to catch the live. <laughs> I'm a longtime fan of the show. What are some album covers that y'all think match the album perfectly? Good Kid, Mad City. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. one. Yep, that's, that's a good one. Like the whole way he was talking about the van and everything, mm-hmm. and then the fucking album covers the van. Yeah, that's dope. Um, shit, Big Crit, King Remembered in Time mixtape. Like how <coughs> gold and luxurious that was. It definitely matched the the theme of the music. Um, shit. Who else? What else? I like uh, Lupe's Fool and Liquor. I thought that was cool. I never loved that cover, though. Yeah, a lot. Of, some people don't, yeah, but I like it. I never loved though. that cover. I liked it. Yeah. I thought it was like futuristic looking. It was cool. I say Muddy Waters, Red Man. Mm. One gotta go. Oh, this is a good one, real quick. Late registration, Kanye. That yep, was good. that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Jill Scott, Erica Badu, or Frank Ocean. Who one gotta go? go? Yep. Frank Ocean. Mm, yeah. Frank, bye, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Frank Ocean. Bye. Oh, man. Come on. I know I know who he going to be. No. Come just because, hey, of, just because of Ken's Mike. reaction. I know who Mike going to be. Oh, Don't even nah, we say it. Like, that's why he scooted over. Jill, Jill Scott. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't listen to her as much as the other two. Mike. I'm sorry. Mike. You had your opinion. I got mine. Shit. I remember I was telling Ken when I had when me and me and my fiance when we saw Jill Scott at Chattanooga. I was like, man, you gonna love this show, Ken? Saying Jill Scott too. Y'all are oh, crazy. Sorry. Listen, if you y'all, gonna, if you y'all need to go do your homework crazy, or go bro. see her laugh, <laughs> just pull up some or just be honest here. with yourself, guys. Minor. Minor. Y'all hear that new <sighs> Sauce Walker with Kanye produced by Derek? Yes. yes. Conway That's produced by. Derek. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually older, but because like, it, it was it yeah. was he released it as like a part of like a freestyle series, but it was just him. So now he released the actual song and it's mm-hmm. yeah, Conway, it, Conway on it. Yeah. It was the first video that I saw with the and, and people are doing it now yeah, it with the, the mic- just the microphone. Jim Jones did it when mm-hmm. he did, when he mm-hmm. responded when, when to he push responded to push up. Yeah. But this is the one where uh, Sauce had the fucking Maybach jumping up and down. Mm-hmm. That shit was hard. I think that yeah. shit came out was it pre COVID? No, it was, it was right after COVID, COVID, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then and then Conway's version. So he's supposed to be doing an album fully produced by Derringer. So I think this I think this really yeah I think this supposed to be one of the songs on it yeah. Sauce so, 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 so has a um, he he has a new single out. It's called Only Fans because he he made a Only Fans and made like three million in the first like couple days. What he put on there? <laughs> he like a pimp. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was like a character. No, <laughs> no he don't know for real. That, hey, that, hey, that man, man from Houston, that, boy. Uh, he a pimp for real, bro. Pimp for yeah. real bro. So he yeah. was putting like his. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he was doing with OnlyFans. He was putting his OnlyFans. Some songs, some songs yeah. on there. He, he, he got hoes hey. for real. Like he really <laughs> he do. Put that sauce on there. How much you pay? And then he walked him. How much you I pay? I don't know. I didn't pay. Yes, you did. No, I did it. <laughs> he said, "Oh no." Yeah. I just, I just saw, I just saw it on social media where, like, within a week, he made three point two, but he he netted two point eight. He netted what? Netted. <laughs> net. Gross uh, and next, nets. Next question. Business. Next I'm question. Business. <laughs> yeah, gross nets. Yeah, gross nets. <laughs> Yo. Netted. <laughs> Yeah. I think that was a Freudian slip. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> oh, you said man. nothing, bro. I'm, I'm on it when I'm talking about pesos. 
Yo, <laughs> All right, man. What else we got? Uh, I think this will be a good short. A oh, uh, song that you just liked when it first came out, but now, years or maybe even decades later, it's your jam. Oh, that's good. That I cannot short. think of one right now, I but I know one. I got right one, bro. You know I'm cold. Yeah. <laughs> My cold bloody nigga. I love oh, that album, song, though. No, oh, album. It really is good. <laughs> yeah, so it really we'll, uh, is a good album. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that one. Mm. Um, have y'all heard of Easy Mill? He's a rapper that Eminem and Dr. Dre just shot the Shady Aftermath. He's pretty dope. Well, man. I guess we ain't gonna hear his album, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> grand opening, grand, grand closing, closing, Easy yep. Mill. Because you know that happens every Jesus time. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. I didn't know they were still signing rappers. I didn't either. Bro. I didn't either. Dude. I'm going to go listen to him, though. Never heard of him, but cool. Hopefully uh, it works out. We're being negative, but hopefully it works out. Water Maloney, 444 and Damn or Trash Covers. Nas is greater than Jay-Z. All right. Uh, Levi, I love the... Mi- <laughs> uh, I love the minimalistic look of the Utopia cover. I'm not ready, f- I'm not ready for y'all to trash it, especially B. Is my album of the year next to Scaring the Holes? Be loved it. Wait till you see the review. So we, uh, <laughs> yeah, we we reviewed it today. It'll be out in, in a couple of days. Um, one gotta go. Eight ball the MJG songs coming mm. out hard. Space Age pimping. Nine little millimeter boys. Pimps in the house. <coughs> one gotta go. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh man. that's tough. Oh man. Nah, we. Ain't ah. gonna go. One gotta go. Maybe in the house. Oh yes. hell no! Do you not remember? That's what I. That's what I said. I, I know, close I know, with. I know, I know, this I know. definitely sounds not, like a short. Not a little, bro. Oh, no, I'm in, that ain't going nowhere. Space, space, space. That, that's not going, bro. Oh, Coming out hard is not going. I, I gotta. I, I, I gotta go. Pips in the house, dog. I got to. Dog, do you remember? I, I need to release. I, I, I know. I know Pimps them in the all, house. but golly. So you, which one are you taking off? Not Pimps in the house. Not nine millimeter boys. You better not fucking say space age, bro. I think space I think age so. for me. Out of these, yeah. Are I, you I fucking so. serious? I think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as classic as it is, no, bro. Out of these, because I, I like no. old, I like old uh-uh. eight ball MJG better. No, uh-uh. I just do. Now space age pimping was really good, but man, like uh-uh, I, I can't bro. get rid of coming out hard nine Ew. millimeter and pimps in the house. I can't. I, I, I can't. It hurts me. Those to say are too nostalgic for me. Those are too, Damn, too nah. good for me. What you got, Ken? I got the next question. No. <laughs> <laughs> you love, you got to answer this, man. That's like, funny. You, you just as big That's as me. Right. As I know. As me. I Come know. On, I'll, I'll answer it later. Mm. Mm. Uh, thoughts on Drake's diss to Pharrell and Push? Do we get a put? Do we get a push a response? I think he might be saving it for Jim and he might try to diss Jim and Drake on the on the on, on the, the, the clapback. Yeah. No. Maybe. Don't let y'all motherfuckers review it. Why you say mm. that? Saw what happened last time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, well, I think we did talk about that uh, song, but we didn't go into real details about the yeah the diss though. He's dissing Pharrell. I didn't know yeah, that. He dissed Pharrell mm-hmm. and Pusha P. Why are you dissing Pharrell? What did Pharrell do? That? That's what everybody just, wondering. Yeah. Loop them in. Yeah. Oh, that's not. He seems like a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Pharrell, I mean, not. Yeah, yeah, Pharrell. no, I feel you. That's yeah, right. he's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I hate that happy. fucking song. Jesus Christ. You you hate happy? That is one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my entire existence. No so way. Happy? Oh, my God. That no. fucking song sucks, dude. That song is huge. That's some jamming. You don't play that shit. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I hate that fucking song. Anyways, that's not cool, man. Pharrell seems like a good guy. Stop being a bully, man. Dang, they said he did. Kodak and what Kodak do and <laughs> and uh, <laughs> childish. All right, man. Dang, who who else did do? Who did he not diss? Dang, he dissed Dr- all them in that Dr- damn Dr- song. Drake Dr- 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 been going that in that verse. I told y'all he put Fantano in the verse. <laughs> he got a new album coming out. All right, well, Fantano uh, or Drake, Drake, Drake. Oh, I can't wait to hear that shit. Yeah. So. After that verse, I don't give a fuck. I'm listening to that shit opening well, night. Now I gotta go back and re-listen to the verse if he dissed all of them and I read it, but I but didn't. But you know really how he, see you it. know how Drake do. Drake, Drake don't say anything. Yeah. Subli- yeah. Subliminal. It was, like, yeah. I read the verse and that you could tell he was talking about someone, but I'm mm-hmm. not, I'm not tapped in enough to know who he was talking about. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I didn't see it either. Except maybe the push. <coughs> that verse is cold though. Yeah, I don't push care. That verse is cold. Freeze, bro. What? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Said Kush living in his head rent because yeah, it's been like does, four bro. years, yeah, 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 right? Since 2018, bro. Mm-hmm. Since the, since that did five. Oh, so five years. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now I got over over that. Nope. Has Push even said anything else about Drake mm-hmm. since? Drake, After he move dropped on, story, bro. How did I, it's, bro, he has just been. Look, he's gonna start dissing Common again yeah. soon. It's like, Uh-oh. dude, just let it go, man. But that, I don't, that verse is cold, bro. All right, what we got? Uh, cold, cold Drake verse. What would be your interest theme song if you was a wrestler in the <laughs> WWE? You know I'm cold, yeah, <laughs> my cold blood. Mm. That, I think that's a good short too. I okay. can't think right now. Yeah. I got All a couple right. of them. I got two songs. I probably got some that bad bunny shit we <laughs> What you got? Uh PSA and Drop Cooch from Nikki. PSA from Jay Drop Cooch from Nikki. Them them horns on Drop Cooch is entrance music. Okay. Uh <laughs> somebody said whoop that trick. Hip hop hip hop thunder are. said whoop that trick. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that All right. Really funny. Uh, this Kentucky MC said, there was a time when I couldn't find energy. The only person that was filling me was Miss Hennessy. It's mm. like life was pinning me down. I used to go out on the town and get instantly clowned. Who was this MC? Hmm. No idea. It, uh, From Kentucky. That's not Jack Harlow, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. There's really? no way. He's from Kentucky? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I didn't know that man. He was from Kentucky. Yeah, I, I didn't thought know that, that either. I didn't you know. put that together. No. <laughs> <Is> that <laughs> <trouble>? <laughs> uh, who else is from Kentucky? That's the only rapper I know from Kentucky. I don't know. Who else? If that is Jack Harlow, it sounds like, sound like, like Jack Harlow. From Kentucky, but I don't think that's Did anybody from Kentucky. That sounds like Jack Harlow, though. Let me see. It can be Jack Harlow. There's somebody other rapper from say Kentucky. Who's another? There's a black guy from Kentucky. Ooh. There's a black guy. <laughs> ESTG. It's from there, Bryson Tiller. It ain't Bryson. Yeah, I knew I, was cr- I wasn't crazy. I said one of the guys in Conan Linguist, Deacon's from Kentucky. Mm. That shit wasn't Deacon. Mm-mm. Deacon writes better than that. Um, Who is it, bro? Cause we like yeah, we, we ain't got time for this. We got is uh, Jack Harlow. Maybe it's ESTG. No, nah. y'all said he's from it's, Kentucky. I, I feel like it's Jack Harlow, and he's fucking with y'all. Mm-hmm. Well, the next one. <coughs> somebody tell us. God damn it. Mm. We're moving on to the next question, but somebody tell us. Yeah, just put it in the chat. I think it's ESTG. Nappy Somebody said it's Nappy Roots. Mm-hmm. That's not Nappy they, they Roots. They just said Nappy Roots from Kentucky. But, but Nappy Roots, what, he said yeah. what MC. Oh, well, they said it says Deacon the villain. That's not Deacon, is it? Wow. Ooh, Russ, that's Damn. Deacon. That's oh, no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, no, hey, I, only, I only feel bad because I mm. said Deacon writes better, better than that. It's not like that's a whack yeah. bar. Yeah. It's not a whack bar. You're I like, just, uh, you know, it's not Deacon. Yeah. Deacon. I only, look, look, you, move you said that shit. You said that shit. Y'all you were like, yeah, Deacon. You you out, Deacon. Out, Deacon. Why are you fucking lying? Why are you fucking lying? Oh, my God. Stop. Why the fuck are you lying? I said it was Deacon because I really didn't think it was Jack Harlow. Why you write better than that? Deacon writes better. That's a peasant. You don't even know who Deacon is. Fuck all y'all. Yes, we do. He was in the booth. Damn. Oh, we was in the studio. Damn. With them. I only said that because I thought it was Jack Harlow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shit. Do you see how you do? <laughs> De- Deacon know I love him. Yo, he got your ass. Mm-hmm. He got your Damn. ass. Damn. <laughs> he got your Damn. ass. Damn. Hey, man, we need to bring a, a, a blue cap out this moment. That man for said real. Deacon the villain, whack. I did not. <laughs> See, no, I don't do that. That don't do that. That's the opposite of what I said. Shit, you said those was baby bars. <laughs> I hope nobody said this to you. I know y'all are assholes. Okay, I'm the only one here that even this. listens to Deacon the Villain. Yeah, Fuck yeah, go all ahead y'all. and clip this and send it to Deacon. Yeah. Don't do that. That's not yep. even funny. Don't do yes, that. It is. Yeah, don't no, do it's that. not. Yeah, that's, that's not, not funny. funny man. That's not funny at all. Don't do that. Nah, because Deacon can rap. So yeah, no, Deacon yeah, can rap very yeah, well, and he knows I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I just don't know what song that's from. Uh huh. Call it Baby Bars. Okay. Oh. Hibachi, UK drill is greater than US drill. Also, do any of you watch Top Boy? I watched the first episode and I, I just I couldn't get into it, but I know I had a lot of people tell me, you know, just get past it. Um, I don't listen to drill music, not even American drill, so I really couldn't tell you which one is better. All right. Uh, Igwe, Lil Yachty Teenage Emotions cover was not good either. Mm. All right, Alex, have you guys ever skipped 
a live song version in an album. And the example for me is Pinocchio's story off 808s. The project is done once it hits track 11. Pinocchio's story is hard. Oh, okay. I, like, they'll have a mm -hmm. regular album, then they'll throw it on a live song. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of rare in rap, though. It is. So, um. But I do fuck with Pinocchio's story, though. That was hard. So, yeah, I can't think of any that I would do uh, or skip like that. Um, especially in rap. But if it's rap, I probably would skip it because I don't like hearing a live version of rap songs. Um, anybody else? No. Uh, DJ Short, one gotta go. Alchemist, mm. Mad Lib, and Dilla. Come on, B. Yep, B's right on time. Mm. Yo, that is crazy. Mad Lib. Yep, I'm gonna have to say Mad Lib, bro. That's crazy. I think I'm with y'all. Mm. Yep, me too. Damn. Mad, Mad Lib. Mm, that's crazy. Uh, Guadalupe, Mike, favorite Gorilla Biscuit song and why? Um, cats and dogs, because it was a really cool idea on being vegetarian and comparing it to cats and dogs, and everyone cares about cats and dogs. They don't give a shit about cows and pigs. So, yeah, cats and dogs. Who was Gorilla Biscuit? Punk band mm. from the 80s. MC Twisty Knees. <laughs> Which rappers would you want to see put out a diss that generally wouldn't be in a beef? I think Mock Homie and Boldy would be crazy. You wouldn't understand what the hell Makami was talking about. It would be like so, so coded. fucking coded. It would probably be dope though, but it'd be so hard to like, you know. Mm. I would like to see Saha put out um, a diss just because he's so clever with his words like mm. that. I want to see Deacon the villain do a diss. <laughs> <laughs> he will. It might be coming your way. <laughs> Damn. If you ever see this, I love you, Deacon. You know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Um, that could. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to see people beef no more. <laughs> right. I want to see people beef if they're beefing with the right people. Really? Yep. Mm. Everybody get together and fucking diss Kanye. Mm -hmm. That'd be mm. tight. Mm. Post Except Malone and Lil Dicky. <laughs> Why don't white? <laughs> <laughs> Alan, uh, hey guys, my birthday is this Saturday. I love the Eminem question you guys answered before. So what is the first question you would ask Nas? Looking forward to your Nas discography video next. Mm, well, happy birthday by the time. Yep, happy know. birthday. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, question to Nas. Uh, how come you never made that session to be on the evils on Reasonable Doubt? Ooh, what happened? <laughs> I think mine would be, how did you and Hit Boy find chemistry? That would be mine. Why Hit Boy? <laughs> you see how Not like crazy. that. Yes, not like you that. See how no. crazy how you see how you No. You are disrespectful. That's no. what you was saying. I can you tell are I disrespectful. <laughs> it is like, why Hit Boy? I get it. Like that's it You know that's not how he meant it. Mm -hmm. It sounded like that's no, how he meant it. No, that's how he meant it. You know it's it. like, why would you work with him? It works so, It's working so well for him. Why did you decide to pick Hit Boy out of all the producers out there? Mm -hmm. I can't wait till Hit Boy see Boy. you, bro. Hit Boy. Oh my I god! I DM you his number, bro. Hit, hit, hit me up. Bro. You just fucking shit on Hit Boy. For it's no a legit. Reason. It's a legit question. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what I would ask Nas. Man, man, like you're supposed to be on reasonable doubt, man. What would happen? Mm. I don't know what I would ask him. I don't think I have any questions to ask him. I, I might ask him, he wouldn't tell me, but I might ask him, like, what was that recording session with you and Kanye like? Because that mm. shit Ooh. was awkward as fuck. Ooh, yeah. that would be good, bro. Was it as awkward as the album sounded? Mm. That is a good question. Uh, all right. Red flags from the last I Friday battle. FIFO's questionable selection of Travis Scott songs. I feel like the audience just want FIFO to lose. The audience are pretty favorable towards Mike. Sometimes I feel bad for <coughs> FIFO. Mm. Thank you, Oblivion. Nonsense. <laughs> Mike, I want a fair and square. I did. <laughs> I played to our audience. That's what you're supposed to do. All right. Uh, I do feel like, well, yeah, I do agree with some, with some of that. Uh, the Black Nimbus, give me a pet peeve that ruins a song for y'all. Mm. Sex sounds. Are you terrible? 
feel like uh, that ruins a song. Maybe a bad hook. Hooks don't ever ruin songs for me like that. Mm. But I, that's a it pretty can. common answer. Mm. Mm. I don't even know what the hook is. No makeup today. If it's done right, I, I like it, but it still annoys me. When they're rapping and they just keep rapping and the shit fade out and you can't hear the rest of what they were saying. Oh, you don't like that? I, I love it because it's so dope, but it's like, I want to hear more. Like, where's the rest of it? And you never really get the rest of it. So it's like a cliffhanger. For me, it shit annoys me. Is the run on sentence flow? I, I I don't like that shit. You crazy? Like gonna little baby? Like the, oh. just, it's just there's no stop. Like there's no pause. You, you just keep rapping. It's like bro, what the fuck is this? Mm. <coughs> Oblivion. My birthday was on Sunday. Can I get a late happy birthday for your boy? Happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Cool. Yeah, welcome. Another another round. Uh, yeah, that's dope. Uh, awesome. And Vegan Sports Bar, do you like the cover for the Carter 2? I don't remember it. I think he was like That's standing the, next to a Bentley or something like that. Yeah, that, that shit was dope. Yeah. That shit was dope, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was, yeah, he like, was he like looking over to the side. With the, yeah. No, that shit was dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Mm-hmm. It's my, that's my favorite Carter album. Esquire 601, Mr. Scarface is back. Looks like something <laughs> a boomer would have made on Microsoft <laughs> Paint on Windows 95. Uh, Phenomenal uh, album. That's cool. Yeah, again, back if I probably, if I look at it again, I'll probably laugh at it. But back then when the album came out, it it didn't it didn't bother me. Reasonable drought cover down bad. And that is from A. I don't remember that one. <laughs> What's on the cover? It's just one? his head. It's just like yeah, a it's side. It's not that great. Um, yeah, it's just a side it's a side view and it's like like a little what like a pinkish background of a building or whatever. Yeah, it's like not that, that great. Oh. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not Donovan. Oh, bruh. <laughs> Hip hop for, quiz for that ass. 90. Surprisingly, Daniel Dumille didn't wear a mask. Whoa, while pre- whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. I will burn this whole fucking building down. What did you just say? Daniel. What you, what's, what's his last name? How is it supposed to be? Do you not know who that is? I don't know how to say the damn name, bruh. <laughs> just clearly. Dumille? Dumile. B, can you help him? If you don't know either, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Dumao. Du- that's what Oh, my God. It's Daniel Dumale. It's fucking MF yeah. Doom. What's wrong with you people? I know Daniel it's MF Doom. Dumale. I just can't even pronounce it. He says it in his raps all the time. Oh, my God. I didn't, yeah, oh, I I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, that's not my Dumale, God. Yeah. That's, that's not, not worse Dumale. than Deacon. Oh, it Deacon, is Dumale. Deacon don't write that. That doesn't look Deacon like Deacon never wrote if that. Like you that. You can go back to Deacon all you want. That's yeah. Daniel Dumale. If it's spelled like that, that's not Dumoulin. That man's name is Daniel. How you gonna tell the man how to pronounce his own name? We spelled it wrong. Fuck. <laughs> wow. We need an accent on that E. <laughs> oh my God. I can't it. It sounded like what kids said, Dumoulin. That's what it I looked like. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> how am I supposed to know that? Besides him rapping and shit. Anyone that has a hip hop channel should know that man's name is Daniel Dumoulin. I cannot believe this oh, shit. shit. Didn't wear a mask while performing on this song during spring break on MTV. What's the song? I have mm. no idea. Oh, you know the name, though. I know his damn name, mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> I never saw I him on spring him. break on MTV. Yeah. I didn't even think he even appeared on, on MTV. <laughs> Ooh, that don't even seem like no, it doesn't he would seem appear like on MTV. Unless he was, like, in the background for... No, they say he's no, they not performing. Spring break. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Don't you don't remember know. they used to have like in, uh, all these beaches and stuff that they used to but have? Not a, yeah, we know what yeah, it is. Not, no, but just Doom Doom being on there. I don't remember yeah. Doom being on there. Yeah, he didn't always yeah. wear the mask. Like he used to say, Love, that's what it was. Like, I mean, he didn't wear the mask then. <coughs> so it's not, it's it's not that surprise, especially Spring what is, Break. What is it? He said on MTV. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it was KMD days, but I can't even see KMD performing on Spring Break. Yeah. They didn't have any hits. You're like right. that, so I don't know. I don't what know did you say, Ken? Somebody said gas face. That makes sense. That makes sense. There you go. That's that's pretty good. Is Donald Van answered? No, I no, think that's might, it. Might I guarantee you, Is that's it. it. Okay. That's definitely it. And he sent the. That's good. Cute ass super chat too. That's though, really good. Say. All right, uh, Levi. My favorite album covers of the 2020s, off the top of my head, are Brass by More Mother, Billy Woods, Love for Rent by Smino, and Ate the Oaks by Billy Woods. Pronounce atheist, but can't pronounce the fucking Daniel Dumoulin, man. <laughs> uh, RKF Master, do y'all know the origin of CPT? Ben Banneker was the first black man to make a clock out of wood, 
Since it was wooden, it would always tell time <laughs> wrong. <laughs> they called true. the clocks <laughs> in time, which became CBT. That's not true, is it? That's not true. We kind of we kind of tossed that idea around a little bit. We did, mm-hmm. but <laughs> that can't be true. I didn't know that. I'm gonna find the origin of CBT. I'm gonna talk about it on Is the Mice and All. That's fucking funny though. Uh, Presto T. I never listened to the album, but I remember Rick Ross got roasted for his richer than I've ever been cover <coughs> and had to change it. Really? He was looking like Queen Elizabeth on the original cover. Oh, what? Wow. I don't remember. What that. project is that? Richer than I ever been. Is that the one where he? That's not the one where he like kind of blowing his brains out with the the painting or whatever. I think it was. I don't. That was. Know. I don't know. Kind of I don't know. I have to look at it. <laughs> I want to see it. He's looking like Queen Elizabeth. That sounds awesome. But he said he had to change it, so I don't know if it. Oh, so he probably. Yeah. Well, how would they know he's looking like Queen Elizabeth then? He must have leaked it. Let's see. Yeah, somebody look it up. Uh, Levi, I'm really. <laughs> oh hell no! Nah. What the hell? What is oh it? <laughs> hell no! <nah. laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what <laughs> was he thinking? Oh shit! But he changed it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what it, what it, what it became is this. Right. That's the album yeah. I remember. Why this would he do this? You know what? Oh. I no, think I remember him. You know what? Oh. I remember that was a big thing because I mean, yeah. the internet was clowning him so much. He did change it to that green one. Or, yeah. or it could have been this one. But why would he do this? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I remember he got clowned so hard he changed. This is Rick it. Ross. Yeah. Rick Ross is. I guess he thought like he can that. do anything. It's like. You can still be corny with money. 100. Did you see the $20 million watch you bought? 45 Black, no, we got you. It's a member's crazy. chat. I see it. I don't keep up with that stuff. Um, oh, Levi, I'm really interested in graphic design, so this video was a great idea. Thank y'all for the content. Oh, well, dope, dope, dope. Mm. Design some covers. Send us, send us what you got. Wait, real quick. If anybody, if your chat is gone, close the, the video out and come back. We're not sure what happened there, but yeah. The chat like froze and disappeared. Mm. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, all right, then. Uh, okay. It's a one-on-one, um, Shout out to Donald Van. I'm a month older mm. than hip hop, so instead of bungee jumping, I did something stupid to celebrate 50. I dropped an EP, Uh-oh. Mr. Van Play Cousins. Mm. Yes, Nas' album is better. No need for that debate. <laughs> I'm just an old head having fun. Happy 50 to hip hop. Yeah, I yeah. am going to listen yeah. to this. Let yeah, me type this Donald up Van. right now. Shout out to Donald Van. Appreciate that. Mr. Man. Van Play yeah, Cousins. Everybody look that up, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look it up. Better not be whack, bro. <laughs> Better not be whack, <laughs> He bro. said he just, you know. No, nah, that's cool, man. That's that's fucking cool. Damn. Is this shit on SoundCloud? Listen to Mr. Van on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Van. Rob Costa said that Ken is 20 years older than hip hop. Y'all are mean, man. I found it, too. I found it. it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I found it. Uh Uh-oh. Four Jordans. Oh, shucks. All righty, then. Yep, everybody uh, look that up on Spotify. Give that man a listen. There you go. So I will music, too. He verified, too. Oh, shit, Donovan. Yeah, he verified. Oh, shit, Donovan. Yeah, he verified. That's what's up. Uh, Appreciate that. And everybody, uh, leave, leave, leave the man a comment. But remember, he just doing it. Just having fun, all right. So y'all <laughs> don't 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 kill him, all right. Uh, vegan sports bar KOD has a terrible album cover. Do you agree? I think I we think I think we bad. made fun of the album cover. I believe we did. Yeah, I think we did. We went pretty that's hard. Was, I was okay with it. That's with Thanos. The Thanos. With, yeah, that's yeah. what I was. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were definitely clowning. Yeah, we were I being we were remember, being jerks. Yeah, I do remember us clowning that I album cover. I don't think it's bad now. <laughs> we did clown it. Shut the fuck up, Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm sick of y'all, man. Oh man. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Guadalupe, check out Bosno 2008. He just finished a multi-part series on top 200 iconic hip hop samples. He's dope and actually cares about the culture. Hmm. So I have to check that out. All right. Lebowski, Pete, Philly, and Percocet. Percocet? Percocet? No, that Wait, that, that's not how you spell Percocet, though. It isn't, so, but it must. Oh, does he mean prerequisite? Oh. <laughs> nah. No, that's no. not prerequisite. It no, has no. to be Percocet. 
But they just spelled it kind yeah, of rapper, just, rapper yeah. like. Maybe. Bob. Mystery okay. repeats. Great album, bad cover, two pictures, frames on a counter. Huh. Mm. I'd never heard of that. Philly, Philly, Pete Philly. Pete Philly. Nah. Hmm. But I'm hey, curious that, now, though. Hey, man, that, that Paul Wall. You ever heard that Paul Wall? Paul Wall is fucking Paul Wall nice, bro. That, oh, new, Paul, that new Paul Wall is nice. He was going off, man. <laughs> he looks like he's having the best I time know, of his man. life. I know. I we it. got two more. I but I, I, it was just an aside. But, yeah, Paul Wall was going off. Uh, Sith of Dragons. Please review Anonymous other projects. Mm, I think he listened to another one of his projects. No, he didn't. Somebody, somebody sent it to you. No, he didn't. Paul Wall is a feature on a song that was going around on social, and there was a clip of his verse. And, um, and yeah, it was, it, was actually, it, was, it was actually pretty good. Last one. This is from a member, 45 Black. Member for 16 months. Ooh, Damn. Salute. Appreciate it. Uh, any rappers labeled conscious y'all don't feel right now? I really like this question. Common. <laughs> he ain't put nothing out, man. What do you mean? Is it he's talking about it has to be somebody right now? Oh, y'all don't feel. I guess yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. see, uh -huh. that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happens. What's the last name? His last 45 name. Forty-five black. black. No, no. I'm saying, what's the last thing you said after feel? What is that? Say? I think he that was an accident. You just saying you're wrong. Wrong about what? Because it could have been feel right now. I still don't feel common right now. But that's what, that's why I made the comment of uh, he hasn't put anything out. I don't know. But you don't like Common, though? I don't dislike no, him, but I don't feel him like that, no. Really. <clears throat> I don't think he's trash or anything, but, you know. I think he's a good, conscious rapper. Well, I Talib Kweli? I think he is, too. I feel Talib more than Common. Mm. Damn, that is a really good, that's a really good one, B. I'm going to um, beat your ass, Rob Costa. That's what I'm going to fucking do. I, he I did, know he said deep, huh? Why y'all doing this? Because <laughs> he Why did put out something this? that 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 uh, I forgot what it was. Was it the Gotham? But I don't know. I mean, I, I think Common is a is a good answer. Uh, he hasn't put out something in a, but his last two projects have been kind of. You, know, you talking about Talib or Common? Co common. Common. Yeah. 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 Because um, he tried to do some super political right now in the mm -hmm. moment album, and it just. Mm -hmm. It yeah, I think his a last good actor. album was that Dreamer Believer album. That was the last one. The one I had. I think Ghetto he had Dreams. one after that, bro. The one I had Ghetto Dreams. He's had Nines. a couple albums after that. I thought. Yeah. I'm just saying. Good. I'm talking about good. Oh, album. you said oh. good album. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. Good oh, okay. album. I'm saying, I think his last good album was Dreamer Believer. I think Talib is yeah. a good one. I think that's a good one. I didn't know y'all didn't like Talib Kweli. No, I do like him. I do like him, but I I think the last yeah, I just have project he did yeah, it was like an EP or something. I wasn't really rocking with all the way. Else? Yeah, that's the only one I could think of. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, people, you got anybody? He don't like yeah. conscious rappers. <laughs> <laughs> he like all that ignorant shit. Yeah. All right, wrap it up. <laughs> Sunny light. <laughs> that's it. That's it, bro. All right, cool. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Woo. I think it's some more. I, I mm -hmm. probably think it's some more. Okay, all right. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, man, look. Camera on me, please. <laughs> nah, man, thank y'all for uh, coming through for another Dead and Hip Hop Live, man. Um, yeah, man, it, this has been cool. Like I said, this is every other week now, so this isn't a weekly show, which is why I'm guessing, you know, we got so many Super Chats. So thank you for that. Uh, <clears throat> we will be back. Um, I don't know the date, the actual date. I don't know if anybody got that up, but we will be back, not next week, but the week after. Uh, with another um, Dead and Hip Hop Live. The 16th. 16th. The 16th. So, yeah, come back on the 16th. We will be live 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Damn. Um, what's up? Man, you know math doing ass. Nah, <laughs> 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 um, but, no, nah, it was fun. This was fun, man. Appreciate all the super chats. Like I said, some of those will turn into um, some um, shorts or even topics, you know, the ones that we save. But, again, thank you for coming through. I think that's it. Anybody else got anything to say before we go? The dude that sent the Deacon question is a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, make sure you tune in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. We're dropping a lot of content. I don't know if you've seen that lady's shorts, videos, everything. So, man, make sure you're tuning in, man. Make sure you subscribe, su subscribe, tell a friend, all of that jazz. So, thank you for coming out.
God bless. Good night. Mm-mm-mm.